Um, again, the layout for this is I would have made the screen bigger. Um, when I do mass attack, it will be. Um, but for this, you kind of needed... Some DS games treated the DS as one big long screen. So I had to do it this way if you want like to have an accurate look at... like. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. It's good. This way, you, you'll actually... It will look how it's supposed to be displayed with how they, like, how DK moves around. No, I'm not... This was not on the Wii U, I believe. Um, or, or, I guess, apparently, considering Q's thing, I guess it was on the Wii U. But I didn't get it on the Wii U, because I decided... So, the only ones I got on the Wii U were games I was planning on streaming, or potentially streaming, that would make use of the touchscreen. So, Phantom Hourglass, Mass Attack, Pokemon, Shadows of All Mia. There is really no reason to get this game because it doesn't use. It doesn't. It just uses the controls, control buttons, or buttons. So, there's really no reason to worry about rebuying it, honestly. Yeah, we are not complete. We are not 100%ing this. Okay, so we have Versus Battle. Uh, I don't even know. What do you mean? <laughs> You'll never know what you get. <laughs> I feel like I remember this being dumb, honestly. Hey, welcome, Sneaky. Donkus Kongus. We got challenges. Alright, let's just jump. Right, let's get into the game. Welcome to Sun Sun Beach on beautiful Sun Sun Island. I think it does. Look at this stock art. The TK crew come to this tropical paradise for a little R and R. <laughs> the beach's sparkling waters and white sands are the perfect getaway. I like how Candy. This is like the first game she came back in, right? Oh, everyone is having a blast swimming except Wrinkly because she's dead. <laughs> 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 What's that? Oh, that playing around worked up an appetite? You're as hungry as a horse, aren't you? Your problem is... Shoot, now I'm hungry too. Can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh wow, you're never gonna believe this! <clears throat> There's a huge banana on top of the mountain! You don't say. Wrigley's goes with such an insane addition to DK lore and they just stuck with it. <laughs> they really did until the returns games at least. Yeah, the malls aren't honestly that bad to be honest. They're pretty good. Um, how does, does the, do you think the audio is good then right now? Now that we're into the game proper? Well, I'll be. Look at that color of that specimen. Looks mighty tasty. If you don't know the plot of this game, you're going to be in for a treat, because the plot of this game is kind of nuts, and I haven't even finished it. <laughs> okay, DK, you get up there and get, go get that banana. I like how in this game, all the other Kongs talk, because most DK games, there's no, like, dialogue. But here, they just made DK, like, the... <laughs> he just doesn't speak. <laughs> He's like, um, Taz. When they had the, the show where they had all the... Uh, Taz, Tasmania, where they had all his family, and then Taz just doesn't... I mean, he does speak, but barely. <laughs> he speaks like Taz. <laughs> yeah, the colors are a little off, but it's not that bad. Get a move on, Donkey Kong. Oh, wait a second. Hey, hey how about we check the controls before we start? That's not true. Basically, every NPC Kong... Taz well, I guess I was thinking more... Okay, okay you're right. But Diddy Kong doesn't usually sp Well, no, I guess he does speak in some of the games. I don't know. But, like, it's really distracting here that Donkey Kong doesn't speak is more my point. Like, because everyone else is speaking and there's way more dialogue in this game, it's really distracting that DK doesn't speak. Um, you can press start to skip my spiel if you already know what to do. But if you don't, you better listen closely to what I have to say. This game uses different controls than what you might, might be used to, you see? Now don't front. Difficult doesn't mean doesn't mean difficult. <laughs> Sorry, di different doesn't mean difficult. <laughs> I'll teach you everything. 
Watch the top screen. Press left and right to walk on the ground. Oh, you can also walk with L and R. Whichever way is easier for you. Next up, let's talk about d uh, jumping. Press both L and R at the si and release them to jump at the, si uh, at the same time to jump. Pressing A to attack once you jump from the ground. While you're spinning, you can smash barrels and smash uh, bash enemies. Practice both kinds of jumps because believe me, you'll need them. I scared some bananas around here. Grab them all and head for the exit. <laughs> well, this isn't even a DS Lite, though, because it just... <laughs> it doesn't have a... <laughs> it's just one big screen. <laughs> I'll teach you the next action when you're done. Oh, now now it does. Why? Why? It, it like... <laughs> For a split second, it was there, the, the the DS thing, and then it was gone again. I just could, maybe this is a um, graphical glitch because of the emulation, I'm not sure. And I don't know how to fix it. And also, I don't know if I care, or if that's like, that's not really a big deal. Alright, everything's looking good though, as far as... I don't know like how to, what would, like what I have as setting wise that fix it, but I don't really, I was having issues with a little bit of lag when I was testing the game, so I'd rather not mess with it too much. Who knows, who cares? <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> Almost too easy, eh? That's why I set up a little game for you. That's right, the best way to get to hang out the controls is to play. I think this is why I never beat this game, because this game has so much fucking dialogue. <laughs> For a game that doesn't need it. <laughs> jump over the rolling logs. Beat 80 points to move on. Jump a, a bunch for bonus points. Okay. Alright, pretty straightforward. It has a ton of dialogue, so <laughs> more than any other DK game, by far. <laughs> Next, let me tell you about pegs. Climbing pegs will help you reach high places. But first, you have to know how to grab things. You know the drill, watch the top screen. It's like he almost, like, I don't know what, like, happened there, because you saw for a, sp a split second. Also, I didn't mean to do this, also. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I think it's just mostly using L and R, though, so it's pretty, I, pretty straightforward. This is also a really weird way to teach you to use the L and R buttons. <laughs> like this is the tutorial bonus game and it's <laughs> Crab Bananas. I guess they do, yeah. I think the problem is like it does what like Starfy does. But it has a lot less personality where like it's a platforming game, 2D platformer, and then it interrupts the 2D platforming. Whereas like the dialogue in DK64 doesn't interrupt it in the same way, if that makes sense. Let's go back to grabbing the pegs for a moment. We'll go over this nice and slow. First, we'll cover grabbing right. Watch the top screen, okay? You've never seen this game before, Q? See those bumps up there? Those are pegs. Jump when you press and hold R when you ri uh, your right hand is over a pig. Once you grab a pig, you'll spin around it as long as you're holding R. When you release R, you'll j it's basically cool, cool land. Fun fact, in King of Swing, the, for the multiplayer mode, Bubbles for, from Clue cool, cool, cool Land is uh, an unlockable character in the multiplayer mode for that game, which is pretty cool. 
When you release R, you'll jump in the direction you're facing. As you expect, left side works the same way. You just press L to grab left. Since you're still learning on a, a le learning a dotted line will show you where you're going. Now practice grabbing pegs until you can do it with both hands. I almost wish they would have just had the arrow on to begin with, to be honest. Like, even outside of the tutorial, I feel like there's no reason you couldn't have it there as an option. Got the hang of it yet? Those moves are just the basics. So let me tell you how you can move around the pegs with ease. It's a piece of cake once you learn how to stop spinning. To stop spinning, all you gotta do is grab two pegs. Pay attention to the top screen. First, jump up and grab two... <laughs> I like how he says pay attention to the top screen, but you also still need to pay attention to the bottom screen because he's talking. <laughs> First jump up and grab two pegs. Release R to spin, then grab another peg to stop. Next, release L to spin the other way. Grab another peg to stop. Release one side and then the next. Repeat this to move around the pegs. The key to good climbing is stopping where and when you want. Now let's practice on the big pegs. Pretty easy. Now it's time to test what you learn in a climbing race. This game looks like that one QWOP, like getting over it with Ted Bundy or whatever that game was. <laughs> like there's no reason to do them individually when you can just do this. I think it was called GIRP or GIRP and you were mountain climbing with your keyboard. Okay. Well, this game came out before that. I would think. This is a very important technique, so listen up. Take a gander at the top screen. To attack from a peg, press A while you're holding onto the peg. Remember, you can't grab pegs while you're spinning from your attack. If you hold down L and R while you're falling, you'll grab one automatically. Easy as banana cream pie. Grant <laughs> banana cream pie. <laughs> so let's give it a try. You missed the tutorial. Uh, I said banana cream pie. Is that funny? I've saved the best, best secret for last. The gems on this island hold a magical power. Collect 100 gems and a crystal star will appear on the touch screen. Why, you could become invincible and soar like a big hairy bird. Just keep trying it until you get the hang of it. Hang on, I need to turn the mic down a little bit there. Because I was peeking the mic a bit. Like the studios. <laughs> This is actually where we got crystal stars from, not, not from Thousand Year Door. Oh crap, I do need the touch screen here. Yeah, you actually do like actually fly. Why is this star not a coconut? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Ask Payon. <laughs> right, let's put everything I've taught you together so far. You should be able to make your way from peg to peg with ease. Again, this is a game, like, a lot of games in the DS that... 
There were a lot of platforms in the DS for whatever reason I just never beat. Uh, like, so the Sonic games were the same way. Like, I was enjoying them. I think part of it was the dialogue was just too much at the time when I was playing this. Because I think it took me a while to beat Starfy as well. I don't know why, but like this game and then Sonic has the same thing where there's just so much downtime between the levels. And also I think both games feel like they have so many collectibles. Because um, I've beaten most of my DS collection. I, I was pretty good with DS, unlike Wii, on playing every game I owned. Because, um... I, uh... I was pretty good with playing every game I owned because, um... I really liked playing handheld. And didn't like consoles as much. So, um... It was never really that much of an issue, but there was a few like this that I just never finished. Okay, I tested it. The game is just like that with the DS screen tutorial. Well, I assume you don't actually have the game. <laughs> well, that that about t does it. I've taught you everything I know. Everything's still looking and sounding good, too, also, right, guys? Oh, and about the bananas you've collected. You get a one-up when you collect a hundred of them. The more bananas you collect, the more one-ups you will get. Fair. Listen, if you ever need a refresher, check out Extras and Select. That is not an extra. <laughs> Choose lectures to review the lectures I've given you. Well, better get be, we better get going soon. News from Cranky. Rolling Panic has been added to the challenge screen. Banana Grab has been added to the challenge screen. Speed Climb has been added to the challenge screen. Thank you, Cranky, for the news. <laughs> Okay, so then you get the funky airplane is X. Hey man. hey man! Give me four oil barrels and I'll give you a little lift over to li So like this is like a bonus world basically. Alright, so let's actually get started here. I don't remember when I bought this game to be honest. Like I'm assuming I bought it at, at like a GameStop or something. Music in this game is pretty good. I mean, my brother had... One of my brothers had King of Swing, and I definitely messed with it, but I never played it in full. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like it. Cranky just will appear in the levels at times, and then it's like, well, I have to talk to him, but it just interrupts the action so much. <laughs> have you seen any banana coins yet? There are tons of banana coins on this island. I can feel it in my bones. Cast your peepers topside. <laughs> That's a banana coin up there. Collect this bunch, and you might get yourself a nice surprise. Again, I like don't mind it in Starfy, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind the further we get in. But I'm pretty sure that's part of why I didn't. I was trying to think of why I didn't just finish this game. I think that and the fact that there's a lot to collect for 100. percent And when I used to play this game, I would play it for for 100. percent Yeah, like <laughs> I know this is a tutorial, but why are you here still, cranky? That, that's also true. The Starfy's pretty funny. Do you see, do you ever wish you could see just a little more of where you're going? Well, you're in luck. All you have to do is press up or down. And if you're on the ground or holding a peg to take a look around. This is why I really love Kid Icarus Uprising. Because in that game, you have the funny dialogue but it doesn't interrupt the pace of the game because it's playing while you're playing. It's such a great way to do clever dialogue without, like, you know, ruining the game pace. Yeah, which I mean, I know Star Fox does that too. I just wish I liked. The gameplay of Star Fox or the characters in Star Fox. Yeah, this game has bonus barrels. <laughs> 
But I don't even know if you need to beat the bonus barrels because, like, it's just for extra lives, right? No, uh, Kid Icarus invented it, Sneaky. I can't change my mind on this. <laughs> This is even true because there's so many games that did it before Free Kid Icarus, but... But there's, like, there are a lot of games in the DS. Like, here's what's funny, right? The DS had two screens, and it took until, like, the 3DS for them to really make use of that aspect of using the bottom screen for, like, constant conversation and the top screen just for gameplay. Do you know about oil barrels yet? Look at the top screen. Collect all the barrels on this island and press the X in the map screen. Funky Kong will fly you to Little Sun Sun Island on his plane. Sun Islands have more barrels than others, just so you know. Oh, and about the, uh, and there should be about four barrels here on Sun Sun Island. You didn't find Zany's gust jar. Plenty of bomb screen. That well, that or top uh, like Phantom Hourglass because you use the t touch screen. That one has the the map on the top screen. Also, hey Odin, welcome. Yeah, they have plenty of those, I but like not a ton of like the they they do have where the bottom screen uses dialogue, but they don't I, I just don't think there's that many that like do it in a way where you also can then still play the game. Like you have two screens instead of just having one screen be the gameplay, it's like every game had to have both screens be used at once, which you know I get, but you could have got, you know, I feel like if by the 3DS point, the novelty had wore off, so they were fine with just having a few games that were just one screen for the main gameplay, and the other screen was, again, either the map or... I don't know, I mean, you could have done the map and still have dialogue, though. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's true, right? You have to have... That's fair. And I feel like Nintendo didn't really start doing voice acting more until at least the 3DS era. Um, do you know much about DK coins? Wait. Take a look at the top screen, why don't you? What you see up there is a DK coin. When you collect them, you'll earn cheats in the extras menu. Wait. Using cheats lets you power up all kinds of stuff. See, Summer? <laughs> <laughs> Using cheats is good. <laughs> I feel like there's no real reason to get all these lives, though. Like, I probably can just avoid these bananas. There we go. I got the... Yeah, I got the... I got all the letters, so... Again, not that I'm probably gonna try for 100%, but... Oh, apparently the DK coin... The banana coins count for 100%. Right, that was... I don't know why they do. They do. If you want hundred percent, I don't even know what that actually entails. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna take too long if I worry about it. Did you know that you could grab that giant flower too? Listen. Once you grab the flower with both hands, never let it go. Can't even get on it. Okay, I see. No, I didn't let go. <laughs> it let go. <laughs> I wish the jumping was a little... I mean, I get why they have it, but like, jumping on the ground, I wish didn't... I wish it was slightly different on the ground than it is on, um, on the, uh, in the air. Because I get why it acts that way in the air. It makes sense for it to act that way in the air. There's like probably so much I missed here, honestly. Again, I don't even know. Uh, like, 
Do the decoy co DK coins are cheats? The banana coins, I don't think that he... When he was talking about them, like, they don't really matter, right? For anything, I think. I don't remember what the K... The K... Uh, K-O-N-G do in this game. The oil barrels are, barrels are probably arguably the biggest thing to get because they do unlock an actual new level. Yeah, like, pretty much... <laughs> I mean, I like Jungle Beat Sneaky, honestly, but it is pretty interesting how, like, so, the the last DK, like, you had, okay, I would say the Donkey Kong series turtle with Donkey Kong Country. You had Country, Country Returns, and then, pretty much, after that, if you, like, were a fan of the Country games, you were pretty much out of luck until, or you had the Country, Country 1, 2, and 3. And you were out of luck until Returns came out. Because, um... Like, this game is... It, it, this game is unique. I like how unique it is. But it's definitely very different from the other ones. And it, and it also, like... I think it could work on its own merits of just having the... Um, this mechanic of the spinning. Um, you didn't need to add a bunch of the return or country aspects of like all the bonus barrels and stuff like that. Like that just felt like extra stuff that didn't really it was only expected because it's expected in Donkey Kong, not because it really made sense for this game per se. Um, but after this game, what did you have? You had 64, which you know, love it or hate it, you can't deny that. All right, DK only has one life in this game. Um, love it or hate it, um, the very least. It is very different from Returns, for sure. It's definitely more in line with, like, Banjo and Mario 64 than it does with... Or, I keep saying Returns. The country games. <laughs> um, but anyway, it has much more in line with those games than it does with uh, the country, er, country games. Meanwhile, you have a bunch of side games like this. Jungle, uh, King Swing, Jungle Climber, uh, Jungle Beat... And then, uh, some spin-offs like, um, Diddy Kong Pilot and... Or no, sorry, that never ended up coming out. Um, Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. I did play DK64. And probably most people play DK64. It really was, and it's kind of weird they have not done anything since Tropical Freeze. In fact, we haven't had a Donkey Kong... What is this animation? <laughs> we haven't had a Donkey Kong game since Tropical Freeze, I'm pretty sure. What's up with the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games? Uh, Kanga doesn't count. Well, I mean, okay, it, is, it does count, but the thing with Kanga is, it's basically only DK in the fact that DK's in it, but, like, if you told me it was Tycho, you know, I'd also... Because <laughs> it basically is just Tycho, but with bongos. But I guess you could say the same thing with, like, um, Barrel Blast just being Mario Kart, but with bongos. Metroid Prime... <laughs> Look, if... I don't... <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna be dead before Metro Prime 4 comes out, probably. <laughs> <laughs> At the rate that it's going. <laughs> I don't know if I care to go... Okay, yeah, so the con letters just get you a one-up. Are the bonus barrels just for bananas? Because I think if that's the case, the only thing that's worth going for is the... Can we get confirmation on what the banana coins do, if anyone else is paying attention? Because I think I'm just going to go for the oil barrels, then, and that, if that's the case. There's no real reason to collect everything. It just sucks that they put them on, on screen so they make you want to collect them. <laughs> Maybe my grandkids will see a new teaser trailer. <laughs> I think they're fine. I mean, I, I haven't played the Konga, Konga games, to be fair, so I don't know. But I feel like if you're going to play Konga, just play Taiko. <laughs> to some extent. Unless you really want to... Listen to a, um, uh, a kids bop like version of of um, All Star on <laughs> while playing it on the bongos. Then I guess play Donkey Konga. 
Two specifically, I believe that one's in there. Only thing I'm seeing, well, but see, it, it I would that would make sense, right? Because they show up on, because they show up on the collection screen, it would make sense for them to count for a hundred percent. But I don't really know what they do beyond just one ups. I mean, at this point, like, if we get a Switch 2, you got to imagine that Metroid Prime 4 is going to get the Breath of the Wild treatment, probably. Yeah, I guess the only DK game we got was the new funky mode. Yeah, no, there's, um, All-Star is in DK, uh, Donkey Kong uh, 2, I believe. It's really funny. I used it for name that game tune once, I think. <laughs> this is not a cave, DK. Yeah, so this game could I right, cause you you only get one life. Or you only get one hit, basically. We've seen so little from Prime 4, but hey, at least they didn't, like, release information and then change it. That would have been way worse, I think. Okay, so I got that oil barrel, barrel so I should be good. So I'm just gonna gun it to the end, then. I mean, I guess I could get the K. Like, if it's right there, if the only thing is if it's right there, like, might as well, if it's easy. We saw a number. <laughs> we did, in fact, see a number. <laughs> oh, this is a kind of a cool remix. <laughs> the Blizzard stuff is really funny. Hey, we want to make. We're gonna make a sequel to um, Overwatch. And the reason why we're doing a sequel is because we're gonna have a single player mode. It just doesn't end up having a single player mode. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You know, you know the the only reason we even got anything was because Nintendo was trying to really sell the Switch at the time. So they were, they were like, "What do gamers like?" Oh, gamers love. All right, because we okay. This is like so. It's like the country game. So you get one hit, but then you also get Diddy Kong, right? Um, I don't think Diddy Kong was in. I'm pretty sure maybe he was. I don't think you had the two player thing like this in King of Swing, but I could be wrong because I never really played that one. Um, but yeah, they just wanted to sell switches, so they were like, "What do gamers like?" Uh, Prime. So let's put that there. Ironically. It's Dread that became the big Metroid game. <laughs> yeah, oil bar barrels unlock stuff, but that's the only thing, I'm pretty sure, right? Banana coins unlock stuff for extra mode per the reliable... Okay, so they're important, but not super, not as important. I would say the the oil barrel barrels are the most important. <laughs> it's the Diddy attack. You see, <laughs> he's been here for the last few levels, Sakati. <laughs> it's the Diddy Kong attack. You see, you can launch Diddy out at far off target targets and smash enemies and barrels that you couldn't reach on your own before. Look at the top screen. Uh, it's easy, just press A and then press it again and you're attacking. You can hurl Diddy at far off enemies and pound nearby baddies. Well, you uh, you have been. for you, you basically always have been given the choice. I just have been talking to him because, you know, streamer. <laughs> like, if, I guess if you wanted to ignore him, you could, if you didn't need the tutorial. Which I guess, honestly, is not bad game design. Most, most people were, would prefer to be given the choice. Okay, wait, how do I attack with Diddy again? Okay, like that. Okay. 
Didn't even need Diddy. <laughs> I think Diddy actually is part of what makes this game annoying because the precision with aiming Diddy is a lot harder than just moving. <laughs> yeah, no, he's been every time that I've talked to him, he's been there on the on the on-screen field. Okay, wait, no, I need to get up to this one up here. You have to kind of like you don't have a lot of like leeway of when you have to. Like, you pretty much have to fire Diddy right, right after, it looks like. The timing window is a bit tighter than you expect. It makes him less annoying, but it's more annoying to me. <laughs> like, if I, it was forced pop-up, it probably... I wouldn't be as annoyed. I know this is definitely a me thing, right? Like, you're given the choice, so you could just ignore him. But I can't. <laughs> Whereas if it was forced pop up, at least everyone has to talk to him. Whereas in this case, only I have to because I can't ignore him. Because <laughs> I'm gonna see him there. I'm gonna be like, well, I can't just ignore you. <laughs> the problem is, as we get further in, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be talking about like it's gonna be story beats, not just like stuff like um like right now he's still teaching you stuff, but. Mega is bound by the Pokemon trainer, pretty much. Look, I never got the people who were like, there was people in Pokemon Sword who complained basically being like, and to be fair, I get it, it's kind of silly that they were in the options, or, or that an option was locked between behind talking to an NPC. But the thing in, um, uh, in Sword, how there's an NPC in the first town, or the first major town, that, um, that locks uh, an audio option, and people were like, well, you could easily miss that. And I'm like, no, you just talk to everyone. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure I had the oil barrel. I couldn't remember. Okay, we don't need to keep, we, we can just keep moving on here. That cave was not that cool, by the way. I'd, I'd, I'd say maybe a cool cave at best, not a cool, cool cave. Okay, so we got Jungle Beach, cool, cool cave. Cliffy Peak. That's my thing, is in an RPG, do you just not talk to everyone? Like, that's the whole point of an RPG, I feel. <laughs> in a platforming game, I can at least get it. Did you know that you can move sideways in the air? Did you know? Gaming. <laughs> Pay attention because this is a very important move. Watch the top screen. That's gonna be the raid message. Watch the top screen. <laughs> In the air, press L to move, left and right to move. Okay, yeah. The distance you fly depends on how long you have hold down L or R. We can also use the D-pad. Plus you can use them to extend your jump between pegs too. So, who right now, like, probably just, are you playing this right now, Sakani? I don't think anyone else owns this game. <laughs> How many people bought this game, actually? Actual question. I bought it because, like, I really loved, if I had to pick a series that was, like, my childhood series, it wouldn't be Mario, it would be Donkey Kong. I think DKC games are the ones that I probably, you know, have the most nostalgia for as a kid. Um, so I think when I bought this, I was like, well, I love, I mean, this would have been the first 2D game, or, well, uh, King of Swing, but I, I think, I think with the Game Boy Advance, I bought, because I bought Country, um, 3, because that's the one I wanted to play, so I didn't really care about King of Swing, because I wanted to play the Country games, but then when the DS came out, I'm like, well, there's no, you know, Country, they're not making another Country game, so I might as well give this a try, but this was the first 2D game, I guess, since... Or this and King of Swing were the first 2D games since Country. Or the only 2D games. <laughs> you can control where spinner bl uh, barrels blast you. Change direction with L and R. Okay. You can also press. Yep, yep, yep. Blast right through enemies. 
I lost the game to find out if your DS was having a glitch, then I turned to Final Fantasy. <laughs> I still have Diddy. The music in this game is pretty good so far, honestly. Did I get the oil barrel yet? Yeah, I did. I sure went and got that. I should have went and got the, um, I'm gonna cheat. I should have went and got the, uh, DK coin, but oh well. It's so much more, um, liberating to not have to go for 100% in this game. <laughs> Alright, plot. <laughs> K-Roll was in this, by the way. Everyone who's like... Well, we can't use K. Roll because of uh, Rare. Uh, that's why they didn't use him in Returns. From my understanding, Retro didn't realize, didn't know if K. Roll was owned by Rare, so they just decided, and they want to do their own thing anyway, so they just decided to do original villains. But no, K. Roll is still in all of the like other DK games. Returns is the first game to really just be like, no new villains, pretty much. That stupid alien! I stole the crystal bananas right out from under his nose! The Kremlin gang will take over the world with this thing! Gwahaha! Oops, can't bask in my own glory just now! Let's use this Spiro Warp to get out of here before they come after us! He wasn't Super Sluggers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> Salas, <laughs> bananas, <laughs> they're important. Was that King K. Roll and the Kremlin Gang that were just here? Those no good thugs, I'm sure they're up to no good as usual. What's that swirly business up there? It sucked them in and just vanished. Hmm. And here we are at the top of the mountain. Where is that giant banana? What in tarnation is going on? That monstrous banana is attacking us. This is not good. In fact, it's very bad. Ugh, I don't care what you do, just shoot that crazy thing down. I forgot this was a boss. Probably hit the other button right there. All right, you guys aren't ready for this. If you've never seen this game before, you're not ready for this plot point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I, I forgot he talked like this. Good gravy, gravy, bo baby. You're not Kremlings. 
Actually, you probably you probably know him from Smash Bros. To be honest. <laughs> Sorry, I made an awful bobawful mistake, Banana. A talking banana. Now I've seen it all. No, no, I'm. Ex 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 <laughs> How do you pronounce this? It's just banana backward, but with an X. <laughs> I am Z Zan Namba from the planet Plantain. Zanaba. So you're saying you mistook us for crumblings and attacked us? Zana Nab. <laughs> Those darn reptiles, what have they done this time? He's a banana alien. They stole the crystal bananas. Gems, gem, bo, bems with superpowers. <laughs> It'd be a disaster if they used the power for evil. Evil, bo, evil. <laughs> but now that, I think that's the dumbest thing about him. Not the fact that his name is Banana Backward, but with an X in front. Not the fact that he's a banana alien, but the fact that he says bo, 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 anything. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you've destroyed my ship, I can't stop them. What do I do now? Hmm. I know it was a mistake, but we did destroy your spaceship. Alrighty, we must help each other out in times of need. We'll get those crystal bananas back for you. Really? You'll help me? Thanks. How many people, like, know who Xanab is from anything? Like, I assume just Smash Bros. Okay, so if you do this, you can now go to Little Sun Sun Island. Don't use Diddy as a flotation device. Does Xanab have, like, in, in Ultimate, does he have a spirit battle or no? Because it's what's interesting about Ultimate is, there like, I feel like the spirit battles in that are typically pretty good about, like, representing the game they're from. So it'd be kind of, like, interesting to see, like, what, what they do for him in, the, in that. Right, I forgot how annoying this was. It is a very crunchy Funky Kong remix. Right, so the, the these challenge levels are a little bit harder than the bait, uh, than the the normal levels, or in fact, in, in the fact that you have more precision, you need to like be more precise in your in your aim, basically. Or you could cheat because you got the crystal crystal, not coconuts. Oh, there's just a bottomless pit down there. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a bottomless pit. I may not do all these extra levels on stream. I don't know. We'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll see how like far we get in this game. But at the very least, I'm going to do this one. Do you remember how we decided, like, who, who, I think... Like, as far as, like, star-wise, I think we picked Slim at the time. It seems like the most popular would be, like, the Crystal Star. But I'm pretty sure everyone else just went with, like, color more than anything else, or what chapter they wanted to do. Because, like, we re like like the chapter we did was what we considered, like, our representation. I'm not gonna worry about. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> no! Oh my god, this is like. See, this is the problem with the game, is it kind of it asks too much of you. You need to have like a math degree 
to figure out the angles of where DK is going to land at times. It's a clever idea for game, like unique gameplay, but there are times where like you need to have a math degree. I do not have a math degree. <laughs> That's why I think like I don't know why they couldn't have just allowed you to have the arrow even outside of the tutorial, because I think that would have helped just to give you a better, you know, idea of where DK was actually pointing. <laughs> Possibly. He wouldn't play this game, though. Maybe he would, I don't know. You know what, we might, we might just need to cheat here. <laughs> but, like, you, your answer to, like, a level should not just be, this sucks, I'm gonna cheat. Like, that should not be your go-to answer. And to be fair, this is a bonus level. It's not like this is one of the main levels. So I kind of, like, you kind of expect those to be a little bit tougher. Okay. Cheating! We're not even done with the level, either. <laughs> I gotta like... <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I lose all my lives on this level. does when he falls is. It doesn't really sound like him. I like how this part of the level is way easier than the first part of the level. get the big corn. I just want to get over to here. Okay, there we go. I think on my original DSi too, I, or my, well, not my original DS, but the DSi I have right now, I think the L and R buttons are not working, so I had to play it on the 3DS. And I typically don't like playing 3D or 3DS games on the 3DS, and the reason is because the um, though I guess the new 3DS less so, but on my original 3DS for the longest time, I didn't like playing it on there because the um, the lighting on the D the 3DS versus the um, the lightning on the 3DS versus the DSi is way darker. Like, the DSi is pretty, you know, got some really good, um, uh, backlighting. And the, the 3DS was just made a lot of the DS games look way worse. Or maybe it wasn't even lighting, and maybe it was just something with the way, the way they did DS games, but... 
I just remember a lot of DS games. Like, I played Okami on my 3DS probably because of the, um, the joystick. Um, which, while I didn't have, like, all, multiple directions, it just felt more comfortable to use. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did play it on 3DS. Okay, so I think, yeah, you, I, you can only collect the DK coins and the banana coins in this level. Okay, so next we're moving to... Why are... Hang on, I'm confused. What am I... Oh, it's up and down, I guess. Oh, I see, because... Okay, I see. Right, because I pressed up was... Okay, I, I see what was happening. Okay, Lost Island. Oh, this song's pretty good. What am I supposed to do with this? Alright, so that that peg gives you more win or more boost. So now we're in, we got one world down. That's not too bad. And a lot of that was a tutorial. Alright, so enemies mostly drop the crystals. jumping on these. You're just gonna be very careful not to get hit by those enemies. Okay, yeah, not having to worry about collect every collectible is making this much better than if I was, like, having to stop for all of, like, the banana coins and all that. Um, there's some games where I like 100% the original DKC games, while I do like playing them now just fast, I also do like playing 100%. Yoshi's Island, I do not like playing 100%. I'm feeling this game is the same way. I'm telling you, I could tell, tell you one thing, you can maybe get 5th place, what do you mean by that? Watch out for enemies with, do you mean for like a speedrun of this? <laughs> Watch out for enemies with spikes and stingers. What's the what's fifth what is the times for this game for any percent? Even on attack, you're no match for a spike or a stinger. I see you shaking, but don't worry, there is a way to beat them. Just watch how the enemy moves and attack where the stinger can't get you. Or just cheat with invincibility. Forty-six minutes. Well, yeah, but that's like way slower than what I'm going, or I'm or way faster than what I'm doing right now. But I see what you're saying. There's only that many times. Uh, I need to go get. I want to get. I do want to get the oil barrel. Oh dang it! I mean, obviously you would skip all the text. I wonder if there's like any glitches you can exploit in this. 
But like if you're just if you're just gunning for the for the end without having to worry about any of the collectibles at all, because I'm still like collecting things. You could pretty much kind of do this pretty fast, I assume, because you're not gonna go for the oil barrels. You know what, screw it. I don't want to mess around. Oh right, this. I forgot this mechanic. <laughs> you see that hammer? Well, you can't use it. <laughs> nope, only Diddy can. Why? The hammer can smash clean through things you can't break on your own. But there's one thing you need to remember. Diddy can hold on to the hammer for only a little while. Oh, and you can't use attacks while it's spinning. <laughs> only Diddy come. I honestly think the idea of DK like grabbing stuff like this is pretty honest. It's a pretty innovative idea, to be honest. I mean, it's just Clue Clue Land, but I think it works pretty well. Where is that taking? In terms of like how how the direction is pointed, you mean sneaky? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got used to it in Kluku Land, but I'm not gonna say that that wasn't like an oddity for that, or they, or rather, it's not that it doesn't take getting used to it, at the very least. Why was this level a question mark, by the way? What is mysterious about this level? If Cuckoo Lay didn't work like that, I might have liked it more. Are you digging this then, Sneaky, as far as, like, the general game idea? I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I'm kind of hating on the game a little- I was hating on the game a little bit in terms of it being weird, but I don't- I don't actually hate this game. I just think- I think a lot of the dialogue, like, I think the thing is the problem is pace breakers. That's my bigger issue with the game. And it's the same issue I have with the Ocean's Island, I think, in a lot of ways. King K. Rool vanished to another world from this very spot, Fanana. But without that device, I can't open up a wormhole for us to go in, Fanana. If you find the device, please please bring it to me, Fanana. Right, I forgot about this idea. I 
I am shot if you get hit there, by the way. If you had a teleportation device, why'd you have a spaceship? <laughs> uh... Hey, look, it's the Crystal Palace. <laughs> no coconuts. <laughs> oh, sorry, the Glass Labyrinth. The Glass Labyrinth sure is a strange uh, place, Fanana. You have to play, c play close attention or it's easy to get tricked, Fanana. You need to, to use the switch pegs above to keep going, Fanana. Grab the switch pegs with both hands or they won't work, Bo Bork. Goodness gracious, too bobacious. There are two Donkey Kongs? <laughs> I see Donkey Donkey Bobonkey Kong up there, but where's Diddy, Fanana? It must be the mirror. It has strange powers, Fanana. Great, but how do we get out of here? That's what I want to know. I'm sorry, sorry, Bobari, but only Donkey Kong can find a way out. If you see pigs on both screens, it's safe to uh, grab on and climb there. Grab the switch on both screens at the same time and to move on Boban. If you and your double aren't matched up, you'll have to start over Nana. Sounds like we got no choice, huh, big guy? Okay, so it's one of those things. Get it? It's it's a mirror, but it's like spot the difference. It's actually not that hard. <laughs> what am I hearing? I thought I was hearing something, but maybe that's just in game. Oh, okay, right. That's not considered the same? I guess it's not. What's confusing you? Q. Yeah, it's the game that I'm hearing. I'm like, I'm hearing like, it sounds like bats flying. It's just, it's, I'm like, is there something in the house? But I think it's in the game. Basically, I can't grab, if, if there's something that's on, that's different on the bottom and the top, or on both screens, I can't grab it. I have to grab it, so it has to be the same on both of them. Right on, DK. You're out of the woods now, Fanana. Stand before the two mirrors in the top screen, top and bottom screen, Fanana. He can go back to the way he was, huh? This is an episode of the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. At some point, he just split up and became two Donkey Kongs. Be careful, Donkey Kong. I still got bad vibes about this. Come on, Donkey Kong. Hurry up and stand in front of the mirrors.
Oh no, it's a maze. You know what they say about mazes. You can't solve them without a map. <laughs> this noise effect that I'm hearing is freaking me out. I don't know why. It, it's like a, a weird artifact or something that's just I'm hearing. How are you supposed to get that M? I guess with Diddy Kong, I assume. Still have not found the oil barrel? No, I have not. I mean, if I don't get it, it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna, like, worry about I think this is where Kate and K. Rule left for another world. Did you see the device anywhere, Fanana? Find it and bring it to me. Okay, right. Oh, it doesn't count if you die, I guess. Oh, there's the device. Well, I think it was right near where I ended. I don't know where the, uh, mm -hmm. dang it, <laughs> where the, um, what's it called is, the oil barrel, maybe I missed it earlier, I'm not gonna sweat, again, I'm not gonna sweat it. Might be able to, but it probably is tight. <laughs> with what do you mean with the sci fi theme? With the banana? Or you mean the space warping? Or you mean the music? We're in the mirror, mirror dimension, if that's what you mean. Thank you. 
but we don't need no end. <laughs> I only really need the oil barrel because the KONG is just extra life. So even though it does count on the, even though it is on the completion screen, it, it's just like it was. It, it is in the original game. It's just extra lives. The banana coins you do need. You you need for like. Um, Unlocking extras, but you don't need all of them and the DK coins are just for cheats So ultimately you only really need the barrel for any actual Okay, yeah, cheats has been added to extras. You collected five DK coins. The DK life boost chi has been added to cheats Okay, well, how do I go see that? Yeah, see because they're all there they count every all of this stuff for like a hundred percent. That's what's unfortunate. I don't know how to get back to the main menu. I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, we'll just keep going then. Road to Ruin. This is probably the best game Payon has made. Apparently people who... Payon eventually was made up of like previous Data East members. And Data East honestly made a lot of games that were just kind of like not that good. <laughs> but this is not that bad. Um, Artoon's the one that made Yoshi's, like a lot of the Yoshi games. Payon was this, I don't know what else they made. Apparently, I think I was looking it up, and I think they did make... They worked on Dream Team? But they didn't make Dream Team, I don't think. Because, I mean, that was obviously... Uh, Alpha Dream. Which, did anything, anything come from, like... Did any... Like, I know they declared bankruptcy, but did anything happen with, um... Like, did people who made Alpha Dream make another company, or or did they go anywhere else? Like, I'm, I'm curious to what ever happened to the... Well, a lot of companies have stopped existing, obviously, but I'm just... Or you mean Payon? Well, did Payon make anything else interesting, though? Or not really? Like, just this, I assume? I missed that baby coin. See, it's the well. I guess you can use the feather to get back there, but see those wings up there. See, here's the thing, though. First off, this isn't how wings work, but also, why couldn't you have just added the animal buddies back? Because like that was a that was a thing about Donkey Kong was the animal buddies. Instead, it's like no, TK did he uses these. <laughs> All oh, right, you can't just. Yeah. Okay. Wait. I mean, I could just use the crystals. The crystal, not coconuts. Technically, I'm pretty sure DK is using one of the feathers. Honestly. It's so interesting to me that for the, because this game, like, obviously, it uses the L and R buttons for this game. 
because the first game did it. But it's so interesting that King of Swing was like... Like most... Besides the Game Boy, like DS had a ha had a gimmick that everyone used in the um, 3D... I guess the LMR buttons didn't exist on the Game Boy proper, right? So it's like, there because I don't think this is the only one. I think there's probably other games that, like, use the LR. Like, that was the big gimmick of the GBA, was the fact that it had L and R buttons, I guess. So nothing all that amazing, then, from the sounds of it. That's unfortunate. Because I'm actually not hating this game, honestly. At least streaming, like I said, I, I think I re when I, re I played the first time, I was playing through it, I wasn't really feeling it. Are these bugs? I don't know if these bugs are in country. They're kind of cute. Oh, Alpha Dream, okay. I might need to turn my air conditioner on, unfortunately, because it's getting a little bit hot in here. It's been, it's in the 80s today, but I was like, well, I probably am fine to turn it off for a bit because it was getting a bit cold, but like it just heated back up like all of a sudden. Like it's ridiculous. I hate the heat. Hey, Salas! <laughs> I think these might be crystal coconuts. Nope, they're stones. <laughs> Did you know that you can pick up stones and throw them? <laughs> Oh, you didn't? Well, better learn how now. How now? Take a peek at the top screen. Yeah, no, I gotta turn my. I gotta turn my conditioner on. Let me. Let's see if it's. Hopefully, it's not too loud here. I mean, it's gonna be noticeable, but how how bad is that? Is that? Oh, they did Glory of Heracles. I've heard good things about that. I saw these salads and thought they were uh, crystal coconuts, but they're not. They're just stones. <laughs> um, is this is the air conditioner too bad, or does it sound okay? You barely hear it. Okay. Listen and grab a peg, and then I think with the way I have my setup for this, that mic is pointed away from the air conditioner, which is nice. Whereas for um, for my like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. It was pointed to my chair, so there was enough that it was catching on it for that one. But my desk is like on the same wall the air conditioner's on. Like, there's no good way to do this because if I leave, then I have to go and grab the stone again. I don't think I can ricochet either. Maybe? No. I need math. ridiculous I can't do this <laughs> oh oh there we go we did it 
I, w I don't know if... Maybe it's just a me thing. I don't think it is, because I've definitely had other people uh, say that before. But I think it's always funny that streamers and stuff will always be like, we did it. Like, it's, we did it together, guys. Even though, like, you guys are doing shit. <laughs> hey, Darth. Familiar banana count. 43. <laughs> I assume it was 41 before I collected the banana. <laughs> oh, I need to hit. Hang on. You know what? Screw it. No, I'm not doing this. This is dumb. <laughs> Most people have this di game didn't do shit. I honestly don't think it's bad so far. I hope you're having a good night, Darth. Playing some junk Donkey Kong Jungle Climber. Well, sorry, actually, it's DK Jungle Climber. You know what? I have crit. You know what? Screw it. We're cheating. You know, it's probably what the speed run does, by the way. Is they probably... Uh, they probably just spam crystal co uh, not coconuts for a bit. That's probably what you do for the speed run. I guarantee you it's it. You get enough crystals to just spam crystal coconuts. Crystal not coconuts. A lot of them want to do is kind of for the PSP. That makes sense. Throwing questions been added to the challenge screen. Okay. Alright, forest rear. Mr. Roboto. The game is called Zeddy Zazumi Toshi 3. Is it, I assume it was Japan only. Burr, it's rather chilly here in the ruins, eh? I'm shivering like a clunky old car. Anyway, about the bananas that Diddy can't reach on the top screen. Use the Diddy attack to launch him, then walk him to where he should go. Diddy will follow your move, so just head in the direction of the bananas. You can also have him fetch a hammer and wings. But if he leaves the screen, he'll come right back to you, so watch him. Don't worry, I got to Mr. Roboto. I think I gotta go, yeah, I gotta go for this thing. I'm missing a K. I think it was just on the top screen, or I think I just missed it. Okay, I think the best thing to do would be this. That's a good puzzle. What do you mean? The this or the using Diddy Kong?
I think I need the... <laughs> on. You know what, I'm gonna cheat. Cheating! Why? Why does the crystal not override this? <laughs> and I can't use the feather. I can't use the switches if I have the feathers. <laughs> uh, you just throw a. You just press A again. You play in the summer. Is that why you're not talking much? The game explains. Well, now Diddy's dead, so... Right, I remember these rocks being annoying, and, and they are. I didn't die there. back without the boulder. Oh, I kind of a cheat. I was supposed to use the wings to fly over there, but I didn't have them because I used them earlier. Leave me alone! <laughs> I don't like you! <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Actually, I guess the Kong letters aren't counted for odd. I guess, you know, I was wrong. The Kong letters aren't on here. It's just the DK coin and the banana coins. Which is where the banana coins are, I guess. That's the bigger oddity, but. Alright, I think this is the boss level.
Well, that's not worth it. <laughs> I can just tell you right now, that's not worth it. That's not true, though, because they don't have that many bonus coins. The most uh, a game has had for bonus coins is three. There's like five banana coins? At least four. And also, there's the oil barrel still, so... No matter how you slice it, there's definitely more than what there what there was in the first game. Or what there was in the return or there's definitely more collectibles in this than there are in the country games. And it also just feels like getting to a lot of the bonuses are just way more annoying than they have any right to be. Probably because, like, most of them require precision of the controls. And while I am enjoying the controls, they're definitely, like, it is very awkward. It's interesting because a lot of times I feel like people are tend to dislike... You know, they, people dislike motion controls, people dislike, you know, etc, etc. But, I feel like this game, the controls are pretty wonky, and it's, you're still just using button controls, it's just the way that you're controlling it that's, that makes it, you know... You're not using traditional, like, left and right, you're rotating around the pegs. And I think for the most part it's fine, it's just the precision is a little bit... I think it would have been fixed if they just made it so you could see DK's line of sight. I honestly think that what should have just been in there by default. That's what I think should have changed. Alright, uh, is this where I think it is? Because I think it is. Because I do... I, I... yeah, I got like three levels in. Welcome to generic toy land. <laughs> this generic, the most... Generic 3D toy shop I've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome to Toy Box. There's a huge bell somewhere here, Fanana. I don't know what'll happen if you ring it, but I'd sure like to find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should use this song for name that game too. <laughs> right, they have tires in this. How do I use the tires? No, but how do I use the tires? I guess I don't. <laughs> Dang it. The fact that you only get one hit but you feel how like your help was his DK if you're not like you had to be very careful on how you move because basically the only way to attack is if you're on you're up in the air or on pegs or if the enemy's above you you can't attack like like for that guy I had to get on a peg to do anything about him. These are also just Legos, which is fun. Dang it! I 
think you're not supposed to... Well, maybe you are, but I don't think you are supposed to go this way first. Why am I missing him? There we go. worth getting that. It's a banana coin. Why am I even trying to go for that? I'm not 100% this game is ever. <laughs> You're crazy if you think I'm in 100% this game. I can already tell that this is going to be the Yoshi Island of DK games. In that... Well, I say Yoshi's Island because every Yoshi game is Yoshi's Island. <laughs> every game has the same problem. 100%ing any Yoshi game except story is usually an exercise in frustration. Okay, to be fair, I guess that is fair. <laughs> DK64 is the worst Donkey Kong game. <laughs> no offense to people who like Donkey Kong 64, but we now have... I have scientific evidence that it's not just, like, n like... No nostalgia or anything. I had somebody who, who legit has never played Donkey Kong before. Donkey Kong 64, play it. And they did not like it. Thank you, thank you, Test Subject Sneaky. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I don't know what I was supposed to do with the bell, by the way. I didn't ring it, unfortunately. D -d Donkey Kong, what are you doing here? Hey, King K. Roll. This is where your sister plan ends. Give back my crystal bananas, banana. Remember when we used to do stuff like the Red Ribbon Army? <laughs> hey, Fruit Face, I didn't know you were here too. Of course it makes sense that you'd sick DK on me to reclaim your trinket. But I have no time to play with you apes. Play with this instead! Right, so the Crystal Bananas can do this. Why? Uh, <laughs> I never found out. Maybe we will. <laughs> Dang it. This should not be that hard. Maybe I'm not supposed to attack the face, actually. I figured I was, though. No, I definitely need to attack the face. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, there we go. This is not that hard. Arguably, phase one was harder than the other phases. Dang it. I practiced this phase, dang it. <laughs> it's 
screw it, we're cheating. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> Yeah, we did it! Great job, you two. Thank you, we got one of them for now. The world is a safer place now that they, this is out of their hands. Let's hurry and go after them. Now you have enough oil barrels? Okay, well, I'm gonna skip that for the moment because that took me a bit last time. Okay, so, right, so we have Ghost Island. I made it to the next island, I'm pretty sure, last time I played this. Okay, spooky woods. What's with all this fog? I can't see the beard on my face. Good thing you've got a map. You can check a uh, check on the touch screen. Diddy's got to hold the map for you so you can't attack while you're here. <laughs> I didn't realize this was the. I forgot about this. This is such a dumb gimmick. <laughs> the gimmick is you can't see, so you need to use the touch screen. Okay, cool. But you just can't attack. No, none of that. But like, why? Why not just have it be on the top screen, not the bottom screen? I don't know. Diddy has to read the map for you. What if you just don't have Diddy then? <laughs> the animation of Diddy like reading the map while Donkey Kong just control go <laughs> He's like leashed to you like a toddler on a with his tail is really funny. So here's a question for anyone watching. What is your favorite Donkey Kong game? It's for Monkey May. <laughs> like what or what is your favorite monkey game? Well, what's your favorite what's your favorite Donkey Kong game? And why is it Donkey Kong Country 3? Bongos? Did you did you see that stream, Sakani, or no? Because it was pretty fun. Jungle Bee or or Donkey Konga? Yeah, but you had to kill the bug, Sneaky. Well, you did. <laughs> I guess Donkey Kong 3 does count as a Donkey Kong game, right? I actually... So, I mean, obviously my favorite is DKC3. But, I actually think... Um, the, the March of the Minis games are pretty good, too, to be honest. See, here's the problem is I can't tell what's an oil barrel and what's not, because they're all just X's. Conga is rhythm. Jungle Beat is not. But it uses bongos. But there's two Conga games, Sakani. Well, three, but in North America there's two. Favorite one is DK64. And <laughs> that shouldn't count. <laughs> look, look, here's the thing. Here's what's great about this. 
Snake Gate. If you play any other DK game, immediately new favorite game. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Like, people love to be like the reason DK is bad because it is because of all the collectibles, but there's DK64 is bad is because of all the collectibles, but there's so many questionable design decisions be beyond the number of collectibles. Okay, I'm gonna die here because I can't see. I don't speaking of games with bad levels, this. <laughs> this one actually arguably is a pretty bad game level. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and leave at this point. Oh, they certainly don't help, but that's not like that. That's not like that's just one of the problems. It's not the big major issue, I'd argue. Oh, hey, look, I can see again. Okay. At least they didn't do it for the whole level, which is nice. Because it could have been like, hey, you're going to be doing this for the whole level. Instead, they're like, no, nah, just, just one section. Oh, look at these cute ghosts. Boy, everywhere you look, it's ghost, ghost, and more ghosts. Listen up, because you'll want to know how to fend them off. Jeepers creepers, better cast your peepers on the top screen. <laughs> I bet he has something to say about the top screen. All you have to do is stop moving and stay motion totally motionless. If you stay still, the ghosts turn transparent and they can't hurt you. When you're walking, just stop where you are. When you're on pegs, grab it on with both hands and freeze. Remember when you're in danger, just stay calm and stay still. Don't do that in real life, <laughs> by the way. Hey, Professor Supersonic, welcome. Nice weasel emote. Hope you're doing well. Did someone say ghost? I was waiting for that. <laughs> if you see a ghost in real life, don't freeze and stay still. I don't even know where the oil barrel barrel is, by the way. I kinda just wanna keep moving because I don't even know how many worlds are in this game. I know there's more than four. I didn't. I got to the world four and didn't beat it. But I'm not gonna like worry. Like, what are we at? Two hours? I'm I, like, I'm not worried about beating this tonight. We have next week. Even if like you know, okay, sure, it'd be cool to maybe do another game next week. I'm fine with doing this next week too and not having this be a super long stream. How many? Okay, actually, how many worlds are there? Are there like? Six? Hey chat, how many worlds are there? Six or seven? Okay. Oh, okay, so, but the thing is, if I beat, we're at what, two hours in? If there's six or seven, then we're gonna be halfway done at like two hours, or, well, or more like three hours. I don't know. Because I hate to like stop and then not have that enough time. Well, I have extra levels I can do next time, I guess. The world record had a death in 5-1. The thing is, for like, technically speaking for a speedrun, right, you have to have it, I mean, I'm not actually caring about the speedrun record, but for a speedrun, technically speaking, aren't you, don't you need to have it be in one session, or is that not like an official rule? I mean, I want to get the I want to get the oil barrel if I can. That's the one collectible if I see it, I I want to get. Depends on the rules. I'm 
Most games need to be done one contagious session, but there are, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. This is awful, by the way. There has to be a better way to do this, like... This is the worst lever I've ever seen. Lever or level? <laughs> lever, but maybe level two. <laughs> I mean, everything else in the game has been fine so far, but this one has been the most like, okay, do we, we don't really need to go this far for gimmicks, do we? I mean, I, I, I love a good gimmick, but... Okay, we're just gonna, like, gun it for the end at this point. So we think it is a creepy ghost in this room. <laughs> Do you like the generic ghost moaning that you can hear in the music? <laughs> or what I assume is crows, but kind of sounds like monkeys. <laughs> This is not worth getting. <laughs> Doesn't matter what's up there, it's not worth it. <laughs> Alright, well this is one of those uh, world... See, what's kind of cool... I do actually like this, because of the um, void mechanics. You get more than just like, six world things. Because you get like, obviously you have the spooky world levels, but then a few of them are broken up with... Um, different levels because of the the warps same thing with like like last one was like the ancient ruins but we also had like toy box and mirror world too which is kind of cool i feel like maybe did he was in the lab uh, in in king of swing i really don't know But, like, I think the thing with this game is there's so many, like, bananas to collect, but, like, they're only for extra life. So if you're just good at the game, you don't need them. Oh, Mushroom Hill. <laughs> We've arrived in Veggie Patch, banana. You can grab onto any veggies with bumps. And if you can't grab a veggie, attack it. Got that, Bobat? Hear that, kids? If you can't grab onto a veggie, attack it. Get it? Peas. <laughs> They're pigs. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. I'm like, there's gotta be a way to do this. Why did it move? 
What is with video games also and making pineapples be rockets, by the way? I'm pretty sure that, like, maybe I'm just making this up, but isn't there, like, a few games where pineapples are treated like rockets? Why? <laughs> I can't think of any. I swear there's there's more than one. But I couldn't tell you what they are. We're just skipping all the, the extras. Don't tell Summer. Balloon Jesus, pineapples as grenades. Well, okay. Pineapples is some kind of, like, weapon, I guess, is the better way to put it. Where, what is a catapult? What do you mean? I can't aim this stupid stone there. I think it's only in monkey games. Well, only monkey games have fruits. What about um, plants versus zombies? I guess that doesn't have pineapple. Oh, okay, that is the catapult. There's no monkeys in that game. kid, or I say as a kid, I mean, I would play this game when I was pretty much like a teen, or late teen. I'm pretty sure when I played this game, like, and I, the reason why I didn't get further is because I didn't want to cheat, and now I'm just like, fuck it, I'm cheating. It's <laughs> so, like, it's just, if you're gonna give me the option to have, like, an, a, a way to just skip a section, I'm gonna use it. Plants vs. Zombies is really good, the original. I can't speak for the other ones because I haven't played them. It was probably the best the it was probably the pop cap game that did the best, I would imagine. I think this is where King K. Roll left for another world. Okay, right. So he's just here basically to act as if you see him, he's mostly from device. No, there's nothing wrong with- no, I never said anything wrong with Pagel, I just don't think it did as well as Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, is then- then all the PopCap games were like, well wait, we want to be full-on mobile. And unfortunately, those games sell, like, there's- people love mobile games- people do not like mobile games that you had to pay money for, they like mobile games that you can- like, they're fine with the- the transactions as long as you know they're free. Like that's why Mario Run didn't do well is because it cost money. And people were like, well, why not just make it free? And you know what game does do well? Fire Emblem uh, Heroes. You know a game I don't think is that good? Fire Emblem Heroes. Or pretty much any of the Nintendo Mobile games right now. Also, hi Zany. How's life? Pagel 2 also has censored Yeti Ash. Ass. Not Ash. <laughs> How was uh, Awesome Games done? I need, I need to watch more. Has there any cool. Okay, that's something we can talk about. Um, the, the It's not Awesome Games, it's Summer Games. What uh, cool runs are. What cool runs are they going to be doing this year? I haven't really looked at the schedule. Dokopon sucks and did not have a give up button. I I did not think Dokopon would be a game I would enjoy, so I did not even consider getting it. 
it plays into the inherent hubris of humans to make them think, oh, well, I would never fall for microtransactions. My thing is, like, look, I just, uh, if there, I just limit which games I have. Like, if there's a game that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, like, Pokemon Go, well, I admit that I've paid money for Pokemon Go, yes. But, like, people can't, you're gonna be paying for, like, it's, it's so easy to be like, well, I can just pay, like, five dollars for this one thing. It's so easy to do. What's funny is people got pissed off about Pokemon um, Picross doing that. But the thing with Pokemon Picross is you have a limit. When you spend so much money in Picross up until like basically the price of what the game would be, like $30, then you're good. You, like, you don't have to... Once you get to $30, you own the game now, basically. It, it's microtransaction, but it's not like it, they did, they wanted to dabble in it, but they didn't want to go full villain just yet on that. This level sucks. <laughs> I think it is funny, like, to be fair, and I was one of those people, I, like, Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, I think, is kind of, it's, it's unique how it's, like, a haggling game, but at the same time, it's really kind of fucked up that you use real money to play Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, honestly. It really is. There was a Ring Fit World once be run. That was yesterday, I think. I need to, I need to, I watched some of the end of that. It seemed pretty good. I assume we didn't go today, right? You only want for the Minish Cap one. I need to watch that back. I, I heard it was pretty good. poked your head on in ring fit. I missed the oil barrel, by the way. Don't tell Summer. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take a two-minute break to get some water. And when I get back, more uh, DK jungle climb. We'll keep climbing. So I'll be right back, guys.
I am back. We are back with Donkey Kong. <clears throat> I played the rhythm. Oh, I need to play more of it. But I played it on my home arcade. <laughs> Legally. <laughs> Clearly. Um, I should play more of that, to be honest. I should play the new one, actually. Don't tell Skirm. Um, anyway, uh, welcome back, guys. Patches for Splatoon. I saw that you could put, um, game consoles in the locker now, which is kind of cool. That's good, because I feel like the scales have been way, like, I, after I got, uh, up to the high ranking in League, I was trying to do the same and stuff before going back to League, and then just the amount of scales you needed was just way too high. Why are we in this nasty swamp? Finally. Finally we're in this nasty swamp. <laughs> I see what you mean for the scales. <laughs> you know what DK needed? Swamp. <laughs> The fact that you can't swim in a water level, I think, is a missed opportunity. I feel like it would have been way better if you could swim. And you could say, well, I mean, the whole game is pegs, but like, I don't know. Just being helplessly floating here is not all that engaging. This game inspired the Dark Souls series in what way? <laughs> I like how, despite the fact that swamps existed before Shrek, and the fact that swamps existed after Shrek, and Sakani didn't make a Dark Souls, I assume that was what this is, because that was probably the swamp reference. But I think it's funny how everyone will think of, the first, if you say the word swamp, usually the first thing people think of are sh is Shrek. Despite the fact <laughs> that swamps play a very small role in Shrek. You don't actually, like, see the swamp for that long. I know it's basically his, his like, his goal is, is to get out of, get his swamp back, but, to, or back to himself, but. In fact, it, in fact, it's only in the first game. Swamp isn't even seen, I think, in the second er, game, second movie, uh, or it might be seen, but like they they leave or at the beginning it's seen, and then they leave to go to far, far away. And then the third one's bad. I never watched the fourth one because the third one was bad. But apparently, it's not bad. The fourth one. There's no pigs in Pagel. There probably is. <laughs> this is not easy to control. Now I remember why I actually didn't like playing this game. <laughs> because the later levels are really hard to control. <laughs> and I'm gonna run out of lives and die. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't think running out of lights matters that much. Though if it makes me redo a level, I would be very, very upset. Or redo, like, anything, really. Okay, we got the oil barrel or barrel. Not on this. I mean, I have... I, ha I do have a way to save. <laughs> I prefer not to use it if I don't have to. Ooh, 
look, I don't want Summer yelling at me for cheating. This, okay, you know how we thought the last level was pretty bad? This one is way worse. I fucking hate swamps. <laughs> like, I, I, it's so frustrating to have to control this. I need Diddy Kong. Well, yeah, but that's pretty much, I feel like, the game in a nutshell. Like, with any of the bad levels, that, or annoying levels, have just been because of the precision needed for the level design. I guess I'm just gonna wanna do this, just because, for safety. The problem is the time, you, like, not only do you have to time when the pegs meet up down here, you also have to time when Donkey Kong is going to be spinning in the right direction. You can't, like, control that. So then you're going to do this, but then you're le more likely to lose <laughs> control of where you are. This is just not good. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. No. I let go of L just briefly by accident. There we go. I hate this. I hate this. We live here. I can't get through this. I like how the first part of this stream was me trying to be like, why did I stop playing this? This isn't too bad. And then, now, like, we know. This is why I stopped playing it, is these levels. This world has been atrocious so far. We had, we had weird map gimmicks. The veggie section was fine. It's just the stupid spooky levels. Um, I got to the next world. As far as how far into it, I think at least like half, at least halfway, I believe. Okay, I'm not even, I'm just getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't leave this, I left the swamp somehow. supposed to do there. Oh, I need that switch. I can't grab anything. Ready for this for the next <laughs> little bit. <laughs> Currently, there is no climbing involved right now. Not on high. 
This game is being a bit of a misnomer. It's it's DK Jungle Floater. <laughs> Actually, it's not even a jungle. It's a swamp. How was your Memorial Day? I'm like, I, I knew as soon as I did the booze. We're getting out of here. We are leaving. We are done with this level. <laughs> I hope it was, um, I hope it wasn't too bad at least. I mean, I know, yeah. I hope the hospital food was, was better. That is better. Oh wait, that was going- was that what people said when they said race? I was confused. I'm like, didn't the horses already happen? <laughs> Apparently in my brain, the only race that exists is horse races. take like two hours to do the race for that <laughs> or unless you meant months not minutes or hour or no you said hours and then you couldn't agree. it's 500 miles but the cars go like 200 so 230 miles per hour Which, okay, yeah, so it would be like two and a half hours. Oh, right, we're back in Toyland. I don't know why. I guess because they really love Toyland. get off of this. There we go. I was in the wrong direction is the problem. Two to five hundred is usually three hours, but sometimes the last two laps are like an hour by themselves. I feel like I assume like probably for like NASCAR, right? They probably like 
I mean, I assume they still have safety and stuff, but at the same time, it... And maybe I'm wrong on this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like some people watching probably want to or expect crashes. So if they put too much safety rule or safety by or safety whatever's in, then they wouldn't um, have that. So they probably are a little bit lax, I would imagine, or maybe not. It's all about safety. Okay, fair enough. That's why I said correct me if I'm wrong on that, because I really don't know. I actually like Toyland. How are you supposed to get that? You want any kind of serious injuries? Well, I assume no death. <clears throat> Wasn't there something I read? I can't remember why I was reading it. I think it was just on Reddit. Um, that somebody did a, um, it's banned now. I think it was NASCAR. They, like, rode the wall to get a speed boost, and it worked, but they ended up, um, they, they only did it because they did it in, like, a racing game on, on, like, uh, one of the older systems. And they didn't, the person who did it was like, oh, I saw it in, in I saw it in, uh, I played, did this when I played this game back as a kid, so maybe this will work. Oh, God. That was NASCAR? Okay. Well, I, th I thought it happened last year, but they banned it for this year's season. But yeah, basically he was like, well, I, I didn't, and he said he wouldn't do it again because he said it, the experience was awful. But he need, he was like behind and ended up like getting further in, basically. Yeah, he did it on the GameCube. Which is really funny. <laughs> we can't just paint a sick... Yeah, but I think it was for safety reasons. <laughs> NASCAR was almost interesting. <laughs> What's sneaky? The pageantry. I actually don't know if there's any pageantry in NASCAR. Where am I going? So this is the real way you were supposed to get the um, the barrel. By the way, it was not not cheating. It was this. There we go. Running out of lives, by the way. Like I am literally gonna die here. I don't know what happens when you get a game over in this game. Now well, we're gonna find out. Continue. What does continue do? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. You had to redo the level at least. Which is the reason why to get, like, bananas, but, like, at the same time, you, like, again, I'm so glad that lives in video games are now gone. Like, it was easily the worst thing about, well, it's the worst thing about older video games is the whole life system. There is not a single game where lives, that's not entirely true. There's very rarely a game where having lives improves the game in any way. I'm not gonna say there's none, because there, there probably is like a few examples where it actually does work out well. Maybe. I never played Spelunky. I did play Spelunky, but not, not for enough, apparently. I did this first try last time. Okay, there we go. Well, roguelites, but that's not like. Yeah, in roguelites, having a game over is fine. But you also don't earn lives in a roguelike usually. Whereas in this game, half the collectibles are just to get more lives. Like, do you get having to, like, when you die, you restart at the beginning of the level, but you can do that without, you can make that be how that is without having to, like, do a life system. Oh, you don't like this game? What do you like about it, Nara? <laughs> you don't like the fact that it's DK? It's Clue Clue Land. You love Clue Clue Land. Yeah, I mean, I get why you would ban it. But definitely an inter interesting story at the very least. Really? I did. No, I, I game over. Luckily, we're basically back to where I was. I, I game over. A little bit behind where I game over, but not that far off. Or... The good news is the levels aren't too terribly long in this game. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing with like a lot of sports. I mean, actually, it's probably just the thing with any hobby, to be honest. The odds that your fans of your hobby are gonna be like annoying. Like, look, the worst part about video games is gamers. The worst part about NASCAR is NASCARs. Like, it, that's always gonna be the thing. Unfortunately, it seems like you're always gonna get weird people. F1 has cool culture of globetrotting, but the races suck ass. Not really. Name name a fandom that doesn't have a bad fans. I can't this this section sucks. I 
I'll give you that of all the sports, I think probably maybe baseball fans are probably the most well behaved. Probably. Can I leave through here? I can't. Cool. For NASCAR? Fair. Fair enough. I'll give you that. I mean, I don't really look into NASCAR stuff. I just, I mean, I know, like, you know, some people who like NASCAR, but that's fair. But I do think there are, like, I think fan culture in general does tend to be a little bit... Like, that's obviously a different thing. Yeah. But there is definitely, in general, I think, most sports tend to... The fans tend to be the worst part of the sport in a lot of cases. I guess I'll give... Football for sure. Like, here's my thing. No offense to people who like football. I think football fans are the worst part about football. Easily. <laughs> By far, I, I think football fans are, are like, make me not want to watch football. It's probably the sport, it's probably the most mainstream sport with the most annoying fans. You don't think football fans are annoying? I just think, I think football fans get too much into the team rivalry, but maybe I'm just not a sport person, I don't know. I just think it's just, I don't know, I never got the whole idea of, of, like, getting so, like, it's, okay, it's funny, right? Like, my aunt is a fan of, like, the Pittsburgh Pirates, right? And I think I was talking about, like, the Mets and just something funny about the Mets. Um, or, no, I know what it was. I mentioned the Mets announcers. And, and just, even just that, like, it was, and, and, and no offense to her at all, by any means, but it was just like, well, like, I don't, like, like, the Mets announcers are bad because they're not the, you know, like, they're not for my team, so they're clearly, like, because when they do away games, like, they're, like, just, just kind of this, like, look of kind of, like, what the heck, no, they're bad, like, I just don't get this whole culture of, oh, if it's not my team, then everything else is, like, horrible, like, I just don't, I, even as someone who plays, like, video games and, like, with the whole culture war thing, I never felt like, oh, well, if someone plays PlayStation, they're awful, or PlayStation stuff is all awful, or anything like that. I like Nintendo, but I never was, was like, holy shit, I'm on Team Nintendo, and I'm, it's a ride or die type of thing. I just don't get get that, and no, and I mean obviously I know you have home team stuff, you know, advantages. I just don't get the mentality. It 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 just as doesn't it does not compute to me. Do you disagree with me on that or no? College football in general, I've, I've seen is better than regular football. I don't know if I get sick on any joke. I just think NFL fans, I think, are definitely the worst of the team mentality. And I guess for me, like, I don't know, when I watch, like, basketball for, like, March Madness, right? Like, obviously I want a team to win, but I'm not, like, locked into if this team loses, like, whatever. Like, I don't, I'm not at that, I'm not invested at the point where, like, if a team beats my team, I'm personally offended, which people do get. They get, like... Their team losing or someone insulting their team is basically like uh, akin to 
insulting their their grandmother or something. It's it's kind of nuts. I mean, that's fair, and I don't really, like, to be fair, I'm not saying, oh, they shouldn't be doing it. Like, it's more so just, it blows my mind more than anything else. Like, it just, it just kind of, like, I just don't get how you can take the, get so seriously invested in some, something that isn't, I guess it's no different than, like, celebrity culture in a lot of ways, too. Like, I just don't get that either. Like, people get invested in, like, other people's lives and stuff. And I, like, I, I just... Don't. Why is DK? He's trying to go get the crystal bananas. Well, well, as someone who doesn't get that either, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything bad about the Mets announcers. I just said I think it's interesting how, like, just the concept of another team's announcers for someone who's into another team, like, throws that person off. And again, that's no offense to my aunt. I love my aunt. I love, like, I love people who, I, like, I, I love, you know, I just, I just think it's, that that's just part of the, that's just a thing with, like, liking a team, I guess. And I just, I've just never got that. Like, even as a kid, it's like, oh, you got, like, this team. And I'm like, but why? Does it matter? If, like, if we lose, it's like, oh, it sucks, but it's like, whatever. It's, you know, it's just part of the game. I don't think I want to go with left. Um, one was a life cheat, which I'm not sure how to get to the main menu to use them without just shutting down the game, though. Because pressing, pressing start, start in the main menu does not take me to the main, uh, to back to the main menu. But I've only unlocked one so far. I think I need to go the other direction. That's the case with the football fans, but then maybe that's because I don't really hear much about football until playoffs, and everyone's super intense during play play playoffs. But like, okay, like like the Pirates typically lose almost all the time as well, and that's still like again. I just I just think that's like the fact that there's no cross contamination with with some fans to me is what what I think is weird, right? Like even if I was into like Nintendo, I could appreciate games on other consoles, right? Whereas, it's like, oh, well, I can't appreciate the Mets announcers because they're for the Mets. You know, that's what that's what I just don't get. Well, if that's the case, then that's good. I just, I feel like I've seen more weird people than I have not weird people. But I'm also, like, hearing about it on the internet where you're going to see weird people. Look, maybe, maybe the internet's the problem. Yeah, but do you okay? But Naron, do you just say that because the people you, people you know also like the Mets, or do you like? Have you met people who don't like the Mets who like the who like the other announcers? Because you live in a region that's mostly gonna like Mets, I would assume, right? For, based on based on the lot. Okay, hang on. It's called Panic Factory, by the way. I mean, that's fair. Oh, you can see the story scenes. Oh, there's too much in this game. We're probably gonna do two sessions of this. Oh, we can... Here, we can add the number of DKs. Okay, there's 20 DKs now. I 
I mean, that's fair, Narn. I, like I said, I just, I just think it just shocks me whenever any like the team mentality gets brought up sometimes because even if it, even if you're saying it's the minority, like the fact that it even exists at all, even on occasion, still kind of like shocks me. Okay, but it didn't actually. I'm at five again, though. Hang on. Like I'm at. I I did switch it to twenty, right? Did I save it? Because if I die, will it spawn me at twenty? Okay, well that's weird. Why did it not just start me with 20? <laughs> I don't even remember this part of the level, by the way. No, the Sizzle Kicks fans are are above that nonsense. Like the whole idea of like you watching every like cartoon that's like a, has a, that takes place in high school. There's the whole thing of where you go to like a rival team. I think it's because of high, you know what? Fuck high school. That's that's my conclusion here. Fuck high school, <laughs> because you have the whole rival team thing where you go and you mess with them and you screw them up. And I think a lot of it is I think a lot of problems in society, society is because people uh, act like that like that. People who are who acted like that in high school act like that after high school of just being like petty and stupid they are cartoons but that happened in my actual high school <laughs> where they go and wreck like the the mascot like that something like that actually happened Or you go to the rival team school and you like spray paint the bathroom or something like that. Those things have actually happened. I just meant like the like they ha like you know how they happen in cartoons because that's well fine. You know how they happen in real life. <laughs> My point is high school sucks. My God! What? I didn't have trouble with this section earlier. This level, this world has been awful, by the way. The game just ramped up in like stupid difficulty. No offense to bees, but bee sound effects in games are always really annoying. To be fair, most bees don't sound like that. <laughs> like, yeah, they buzz, but how often have you been outside and noticed a bee buzzing? Like, very rarely have I ever heard a bee. I mean, again, if you, like, I'm sure you could, but, like, they're, they're so small. It's not like, you know... It's not like you walk outside and you just... If, if bees were as loud as they are in video games or in, in media in general, you'd walk outside and all you would hear is this constant buzzing sound during the summer. <laughs> With how many bees are around usually. Well, unfortunately less nowadays than, than in the past, but... Well, that sucks. I don't know why I did the... I did this section fine the first time I did it. 
Imagine not having rocks inside your high school painted by other team and then... Did you do that, Zany? Look, I can't be the only one to have the high school cliche, like, be a real thing, right? Like... Or like, like senior pranks, like no other school did senior pranks, apparently. I mean, I didn't, because I thought pranks were like, lame, but... Some of the stuff, too, is like, you're like, oh, they did that in cartoons, but the thing is, people make cartoons, right? So I think, like, some of the stuff is like, oh, you don't do this nowadays in your high school, but I gotta imagine, like, it's, I mean, some of them could be like, oh, yeah, they just made it up for the, for the cartoon, but some of the stuff that you see in cartoons is because the people had that happen in their high school, but it was, like, older people who are now, like, ancient, and it's just dated because it's an older high school. Mm-hmm. I just think it, I just think it, it's like if you give a mouse a cookie, like if you allow people to start being like nasty to the team, then it just, ex it just becomes a bigger thing at that point. Like, I don't know. I just don't see the whole point of being nasty with the rivalries. Even if it starts out harmless, I feel like it ends up, you're just asking for trouble, I feel like. I don't know. I would be very, I would cry if, if, <laughs> if I saw that. If I care about sports, that is. There we go. Well, if everyone's on the same page, but I feel like for high school, like, I don't know if everyone's always on the same page for that, and, and that mentality. Why? <laughs> well, what does what does hate week entail? Because if I hear the word hate week, I'm gonna assume it's like probably pretty bad, honestly. attack in this game that isn't just swinging because that would make things much easier if I could just attack without having to be on a peg Cheat is nice having that because it gives me more lives to work with, but at the same time...
I work with people who are Seton Hall fans. It's a big rivalry, and we hate Seton Hall during the games, but I'm not going to go work. And... But there, I'm telling you, there are people who are like that, though. Maybe it's not as common as you would think, but, like, I don't know. It just seems like... Should be good at this point. There's no way I can screw this up. This music is not helping because this music kind of sucks, by the way. <laughs> I forgot this. I remember this now. I mean, this is arguably not as bad as some of the other things that have been in this game so far. I take it back. It's pretty bad. All right, I turn my pressure down. Anyway, anyway, my point is that everyone should just be kind to each other. Kinda. You had to hang on to that, like, moving thing. Okay, so hang on. There's three more left, so this world's two more. So there must be f uh, four, five, six, at least six worlds. DK again, why won't you go away? You're like a bad case of poison ivy. We got you cornered, K. Rule. Hand over that crystal banana. What do you even want that thing for? It's not like you can eat it. Wahaha! What do you think I want it for? To take over the world? <laughs> I want to point out, K. Rool is probably the dumbest villain in all of video games, if you think about it. What is his pl evil plot in the first game? He just stole DK's bananas just cuz. In the second game, he kidnaps DK for revenge. In the third game, I guess he kidnaps both DK and Diddy for revenge. I don't really know what his actual MO was in that one. Um, in 64, I guess, revenge, and kinda. <laughs> in this one, he wants to take over the world, I guess. <laughs> I don't think, at least Bowser, like, has a defined goal. He wants to, to marry Peach or kidnap Peach because he loves her. What is K. Rule's goal? I don't really know what he, I mean, again, I guess to take over the world now. That's his ultimate goal. <laughs> Enjoy this. I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time to finish it properly, but it's still plenty powerful. Behold the Mega Amp. How do you feel about this talking banana, Naron?
is, it is a Mega Man boss. <laughs> it, it's because it's a talking banana. Have you not? If you not been paying attention, he's talked a few times. Not the crystal banana, but the other one. This one definitely was at least. Um, probably at least, at least 50% maybe? Maybe, maybe more like, maybe 40%. No, you didn't, you didn't, you'll see, okay, wait till I beat the boss, you'll see the talking banana. He was standing off to the side. Spiel is very good. Why is this boss so much harder than any of the others? I guess that there's only... Instead of hitting the blue croc three times, it's just those three things, though. I'm shocked I didn't take damage there. <laughs> Also, hi, Pod. I didn't say hi. This is horrible! DK can't dodge bullets! Bond, did your high school, like, trash, like, the opposing team's, uh, pet goat? mascot, I guess, would have been the thing. The point was, I was saying that, like, uh, in car like, cartoons, or not, in cartoons that happens, but I was saying that team rivalries with, like, ruining the other school is a thing that happens. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Why is this so bad? It's like everything up until this the last phase is doable.
Oh, that level sucked. That's my Donkey Kong! See, look, talking banana. Thanks, thanks, Bobanks. We got two of my crystal bananas back. Well, that sure did give me a fright. But there's no time to lose. We gotta hurry up and go after them. I guess there is less. I guess there is less dialogue in this game than I thought. The actual reason I don't like this game is because the later levels suck. <laughs> hey, you guys want to fire a nice level? I don't know how much longer I should go on this one, honestly. I need to go further than, than stopping there because that level was awful, and we can't end on that. You think I could beat it tonight? Really? Sakani, there's there's are more less worlds than I thought. Yeah, but like, what would the time be? Probably like still pretty. High. It would probably take a while, right? Like we're at three and a half hours. I'd like to not go super late. Bananas have to be the most, like... I don't want not popular, but they have to be the fruit that appears the most in video games, right? Like, they have to be the most, like well-known fruits if you were only if you if you were somebody who only consumed media and your knowledge of the world only was you only had knowledge based on what media shows you would definitely know the most about bananas Cherries? How many games have cherries? Mario 3D World, Pac-Man. This sucks also. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough on that. That one it does show up quite a bit. The Japanese melon that I've never seen ever in my existence here. Oh, I can't not get the oil barrel if I see it. You know what's impressive? This game's sound font is like GBA style, despite being on the DS. It's pretty crunch. I mean, not the DS doesn't have like crunch, but this game especially is crunchy. Wampa fruit. You tell me what Wampa fruit's not real. I'm just saying it's interesting to see what like media like we were talking about how bees don't buzz like they do in video games. 
in real life that much. It's just interesting what tends to get like shown in media. Like exaggerated to the point where like it's not really applicable in real life. Oh, that's my fault. I kind of want to see if I get more cheats thing. So I would like to get that DK coin if I can. Was work? Do people go to the movies? On, probably they do, right? On Memorial Day, Vaughn? I thought they cooked burgers, usually. It was busy this morning. How are you supposed to do this? I guess you gotta go from down here? No, how are you supposed to... Why? This is such a hard shot to make. gonna help though because I got here at five and it was single digits after that for a tour we did a thing where we rusted a whole pig I mean I do like pork what are you actually supposed to do here though Like, I actually don't know. Where's Cranky Kong? Like, I can't throw those rocks far enough. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Can you toss one from the bottom and then go up again? Oh, I might need to do that. That's horrible if that's the case. I mean, that honestly is probably what you need to do, Sakani. I love how I, I get back in this game and I'm like, oh, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. And then I keep playing and I'm like, no. Like, this is asking too much pre precision here. There's no way I can do this. This is impossible. <laughs> well, what else would it be, though? I mean, if anyone wants to look it up, feel free. Let's see how the speedrun does it. Uh, level 4-1. I've never had a roast to pick before. Well, I mean, or my family hasn't either. No, I think I think this is how you're supposed to do it. I, 
you have a pawn, it's Mucky May. For a little bit, at least. I think you gotta, you have to own most of the games that I own at this point, right? I assume. Or at least the, like, good ones. Jungle Beat was definitely better, by the way. How? Okay, I see. So you can't, you can't attack, because I can't grab it when I attack, but if I just normal jump, then I can. That was the trick there. I'm pretty sure, now thinking about it, I'm pretty sure when I played this game for the first, uh, when I was playing it before, I am 95% sure I thought you had to throw it up, and I think this took me like two hours to do. Because it's definitely possible. Not very probable. Yeah, well, he's not here. Why was Candy Kong in this game, by the way? She hasn't done anything so far. Why even include her? <laughs> I don't even think <laughs> she's not here. Like you can't appeal for you can't have sex appeal if you're not there. <laughs> How many? Oh, of of okay. There's a lot of DS games. Or is such a generic name for this game, by the way. Why not Donkey Kong in the Magical Space Banana? You remember DK Coconut Crackers also? Wasn't that supposed to be like a uh, puzzle? That became It's Mr. Pants, didn't it, I think? There was a whole bunch of planned DK games from Rare that just never happened because of the merger. Or of, of them going to... to Microsoft, rather. And I guess, mer well, it wasn't really a I guess it was a merger because Nintendo didn't ever really own Rare. They just had a, a big stake in them. That's fair. One day you'll finish Tingle, and then you can say it's the best game ever made. Officially. This is a work. I mean, it's Mr. Pants probably is better than this. I think King of Swing actually is arguably better than this game, probably, I'm imagining. I mean... I guess here's my thing is, was it that Rare wasn't doing that well, or was Nintendo not doing that well? Because I gotta imagine, most of the Rare games on the N64... Well, okay, when did Star Fox Adventures... Because they were sold right after Star Fox Adventures came out. But, like... I don't know what the sales figures were, probably. But... The, like, I gotta imagine Banjo, Banjo, I don't know if Banjo-Tooie did, but I gotta imagine Banjo, Diddy Kong Racing probably all sold pretty well. 
for the N64, but like the N64 was like unfortunately just not as profitable as the PlayStation. And I guess Rare didn't really make any games for the GameCube except Star Fox. On game, I imagine it's more excusable that it looks like the game only uses three buttons. I mean, it uses L, R, and A, basically, yeah. And also, there's only one screen, so I think the level design, like, probably isn't as annoying at times, because they only had one screen to work with. I am shocked I didn't die there. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's the same pig style gameplay, but it's got a more cartoony look to it. Like, this game has got more like. It's more like what Donkey Kong would look like if it was made. made. Or what Donkey Kong Country would probably look like if Rare made it on DS, I would imagine. Whereas, King of Swing has more of a unique look to it. Arguably a better look, honestly, because it has more personality. I hate ice levels. Where is Summer? Summer's always defending DK. And they're not here to defend DK. They look fine, they're just done in a very generic 3D style. They're not anything interesting. Summer's not here, it's just me. I will attack DK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your opinion on this game, Sneaky? <laughs> the level graphics are very generic, yeah. I mean, I assume the character models are just what... Like, they're basically as on model as they were for DK at this time. Yeah, and then Jungle Climb, or this exists just because they just were continuing more of the same. Snowfall Slope. I mean, here's the thing, does anyone want to stay for the whole stream of me doing this to beat the game in like four hours, or should I take a stop here and just do more next time? I don't know if I really, I don't know if this game deserves two streams, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, once we got to World 3, it all went downhill from there. It really did. I didn't think it was bad until World 3, and then World 3 just was like, what if swamps? To be fair, did you think that Mario vs. Donkey Kong made any money to justify making 50 of those games? I mean, that's pretty good if it sold double the copies. But to be fair, the DS was very profitable. What am I supposed to do here? To jump up, I don't use bombs. To g get to the next... Up here, yeah. What's your opinions on, on the game so far, Summer?
One, two, three, one. This is so stupid! <laughs> It's very jank. Oh, it is a hundred percent too demanding execution wise. Might as well just take a game over at this point. Is that more than Metroid? I gotta imagine that's more than Metroid, right? <laughs> at the time. <laughs> no, you know what? We cheating. <laughs> We're cheating so hard here. I can't cheat because of the bombs. Well, that's fine. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This is so bad! <laughs> I mean, I haven't played Prime Pinball and I can tell you Prime Pinball is a better game than this. What am I supposed to do then, Summer? The problem is they don't instantly explode. Like, this would be s fixed if you just made it so that the bombs instantly exploded instead of having to time them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, that kind of worked. One. Two, three, 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 three. I mean, I can't really do anything when I'm on the ground, though. DK is jank as hell when he's on the ground. It's jungle climber, not jungle walker. <laughs> Engine DK is just Jake. <laughs> DK, more like Jank K. The problem with this is the odds of me accidentally blowing myself up in this section is so much like more likely. He, he's not here. Okay, there we go. First try. Chanky Kong. What are the characters this game gets referenced? Or this game gets referenced? Uh, maybe just the pigs, I would imagine, but that would just as much be Jungle Climber than this one. Here's, okay, here's the actual question. Hot, hot question. When they make, I don't have Diddy Kong. Only Diddy Kong can use the hammer. When they make the DK movie, are they gonna have Wrinkly be dead or alive? <laughs> what? What are the? Ch what do you think the? What are the odds?
probably alive. I think it's funnier if they just kept her dead, though. How many games does Ringley show up as a ghost? Like, I think she's playable in Barrel Blast as a ghost. She's in DK64, obviously. She's in this game. For some... For... For some reason, there's no reason for her to be in this game, honestly. She has not done anything so far. They were going to show a singular nail sticking out of a board. It's going to be Easter egg number 37. Dude, I... That Mario uh, Easter egg video really frustrated me. Because while it is... The movie has a lot of Easter eggs and it is really cool. You know what's not an Easter egg? <laughs> Half of what was in that list. <laughs> Either it was things that just are not what Easter eggs are, like Mario Jumps Easter Egg. That's not an Easter egg. It was that. It was stuff that was just like big stretches. Or really baffling choices also. Like at one point they said... They counted an Easter egg as an Easter egg for a future game because Ice Peach has never shown up before. So that and Fire DK count as Easter eggs for a potential future game. So that was counted on their number. <laughs> that was one of their two of their Easter eggs. I hate to break it to them. That's not how Easter eggs work. <laughs> I'm cheating. I mean, this honestly is kind of a cool concept here, but... I mean, I know in the first game they were playable in... Because, like, Bubbles was, but there was a bunch of other side characters for Versus. So it's quite possible Wrinkly is in Versus mode. Dinky Kong and Mario Kart. Dude, you thought D DK was jank in regular levels. Are you ready for Ice DK? And this slippery ass peg moving? I don't think you are. I don't want the banana coins, I just want to leave. Mario wears this classic outfit that he wears in, in, in his... That's... that's... Wait, when Mario wears his classic outfit, that's... The he wears it... What the, he wears in... They actually do mention that at one point. They mention um, something about Mario Bros. I can't remember what it was. He controls the wings and the hammer, but, like, there's no reason you couldn't have just had Donkey Kong do that, honestly. Like, that's the only reason Diddy Kong's in here. Oh, oh, wait, just you wait. It's a blizzard. The snow is as hard as ice. That's not how snow or ice works. It may look scary, but the torch is your best friend here. You can use it as long as you got Diddy around. You should be able to clear out a, a block path with the torch. But just like the other items, it won't last forever. Oh, one more thing, you can't attack while you're using it.
I assume you're being sarcastic. <laughs> or you're actually being le legit. <laughs> Can't reach that. Oh, I need that any I need to get get that because I need the uh device. going into this time. Oh, another mirror dimension. Damn it. It's kind of weird that they're like, hey, we need to have these. It's kind of cool that you get different level styles, but at the same time, you could have just had there be a mirror world instead. This is the mirror world. Well, the mirror dimension. I don't know how you're supposed to get through that. How do you even get up there? I'm not even sure. Why this isn't this isn't called the mirror light world, it's the glass labyrinth, but whatever. Basically the mirror world. I'm calling it the mirror world. Oh that works. I didn't actually I needed to use hit that. Hey, Pond, you like spray rotation? <laughs> this is Sonic one. <laughs> Has similar energy, sure. I don't. Do I have the device? I do. Take me out of here, Banana Man. Senses stated by the utterly deranged. <laughs> what sucks is, so I have a gap between my dia or. Uh, to make this look correct, I have the gap. So on my screen, I'm seeing a big white gap between the DS screens. So in the snow level, it kind of sucks. Because <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell what part is the... Uh, what part is what. Uh, well, I, I just can't finish this level then. 
I need Diddy. Well, DS Lite didn't have a big white section between it. I mean, it had the bar, like... Not, not everyone had a white DS light, I assume, right? Didn't they come in different colors? I feel like most people got black if they were gonna get one. found the um, oil can and I honestly don't care. <laughs> I think I made a decision at this point that if even if I wanted to show off all of the uh, levels I don't know if I really want to have to redo these levels multiple times. Alright, Fiery Volcano. So if I do beat this tonight, what do I play next week? I could just take the week off, but or not. Well, I'm playing Katamari, obviously, but I don't own that. <laughs> no! Do <laughs> you really want to see me play King of Swing? Impossible. Fine, I'll just do the level as intended. It's also the most like DS lava texture I've ever seen in my life, by the way. I'm gonna run out of lives here. ideas of this game, I just, I don't even know how you would make it better. I almost think motion control might make, I don't know, or touch control or something. Like, the L and R buttons just don't work enough, because they expect you way more precision. Like, I like the idea. The execution is... concept of like rotating the giant thing yeah mm -hmm. 
Well, it's kind of weird, right? Like, I get why the GBA one was sprite rotation, but, like, why not add touch controls to this? What kind of thing? Like, this? This? The pegs? I honestly, if any PS5, well, probably the only PS5 game that I would, I'm interested in, to be honest, but I honestly would, even though I know there's a bunch of, like, PS references I won't get, but uh, Astro always seemed pretty cool to me. Climb with the shoulder buttons. Yeah. I mean, I, like, really, if I was ever to get a PS5, what even games are worth getting on it? And to me, the only one that comes to mind is Astro. <laughs> I know there's other ones, but, like, for me, of games that I like, not a ton. The thing with Rift Apart is I'm not against it, it's just I've never didn't play the Ratchet game, so I don't think I would be like the best choice. <laughs> like any of them or specifically that one, Vaughn. God damn it! <laughs> well, I feel like nowadays games in general are not worth full price. It, we've definitely seen in this generation, I feel like game companies have gotten way to, oh hey, we just want to make money more than ever. Not that they weren't that before, I just think they're more like that than ever before. Especially Nintendo. I think Nintendo has, like, like, if I Iwata was still alive and still in charge of the company, it wouldn't be doing the crap they're doing. You could argue that's why they're, you know, seeing success. Maybe. Unfortunately, the bad practices people complain about, there's a reason that the companies do them, because they make them money. So someone's allowing that, like, if they didn't make money off of them, they wouldn't do them. I'm just done with this room. Just, this room isn't done, by the way. Oh my lord. What? How long is this room? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like it's it's weird because I feel like last generation everyone was like, oh, we want games to be super long. And I feel like now that a lot of those people have grown up, um, like, I mean, I feel like I was already, but like some of the people, younger people now who are now in their 20s plus are like, no, actually, please stop making games this long. Don't get me wrong, I'm loving Tears, but at the same time, I'm 100 into Tears and I'm not even halfway done with the game, I'm pretty sure. From what I want, one out of the game at least. But on the other hand, like the speed run for it is like an hour in. This is just not <laughs> the precision you need for this.
Um, I don't even know where the final boss area is, but I don't want to know. So, no. <laughs> I've been playing Tears like probably the most vanilla way you're supposed to play Tears. From what the sounds of how you played it, you played it completely backwards, it sounds like. No, I know you weren't, but in case anyone else was coming in. Yeah, if you used if you had all the crystals, you could just do that. Which is probably, like, unfortunately I just used, I did not think the room was that long, otherwise I should have just used two crystals. Probably would have been enough, maybe. Like, is there anything, why, why does that one fall? There's no reason to make that one fall. This is hard enough as it is. Why did you make that one specific one fallable? <laughs> okay, actual hey chat. What is the actual world, world count on this, by the way? I want to know. I'm like halfway through world four. What is their actual world count? I don't know if I'm up for doing all of the rest of this tonight. Six worlds. Is the is the sixth world a full world? They're three levels each. How far? I'm in like what? I'm almost done with world four, I think. You have eight levels left. Yeah, but I can't even get past this one. <laughs> I just get in the rhythm, it shouldn't be too bad. This room is very terrible. It's the worst room in the game so far. Maybe one day I will beat this. I mean, if it, if I can get, well, I'll leave it at this. If I can get through this soon, maybe I'll keep going. But if, if this is gonna, be the rest of the stream, I might need to just, like, do more next time, just on the, due to sheer exhaustion. I mean, I also have, to be fair, I also have the, some of the extra, like, at least one extra world I can, level I can do. I know I missed the oil barrel for three, but I do have the one in two, world two I could do if I wanted to do that next time. Like, I don't think I'm playing too, too badly. I don't know what you guys think. I, I don't think I'm doing this horribly. I just think it's hard. Because it's, it's definitely not... In, this is not intuitive. This is the one thing that everyone always says about motion controls. Don't get me wrong. I get not, like, getting motion controls. But I do think motion controls are intuitive. <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> this is whatever the, the opposite of intuitive is. Not intuitive. <laughs> Nobody moves like this in real life. I'm, I'm just dead. Like if, if you're not out of the lava by that point, you're just dead on that section. That is a big waffle. Or, um, what's that, uh, uh, oh, I guess it is still waffle, the Stroop waffles. Uh, is that Swedish? 
No, that's not Swedish. What is that? I used to get um, these. I was getting these um, snack boxes that were for like snacks from a different country, and one of them had Stroop waffles, and they were really good. They're like waffles, but with Stroop. like muted do I it's being okay well that's fair uh thank you so much Madame Oreo for the raid with Golden Girls love the Golden Girls uh, second Nacho Man Madame Oreo Lily Lang Rainbow Road 1996 uh, Citizen 16, Phantom Tempest, V Buoy, Odin Spec, welcome. It's it was working earlier when I started because I had a sub. Um, but did I get any other? No, I had a sub earlier, so I don't know what. It definitely was working at one point at least. Yeah, I use Streamlabs. Yeah, so. Oh well. It, luckily, Twitch still does make it obvious that their ray was happening. So welcome, guys. We are currently in. A fire and ice level. <laughs> uh, this is DK Jungle Climber, and um, currently this is really bad. Um, so the whole premise of this and King of Swing is that DK, with the L and R buttons, you grab onto pegs and swing around. And this level is super awkward. So bear with me as I try to like get through this. It's we've been at this for a bit, um, but. It's a game for the DS. It's like Donkey Kong while, like, before Retro took took over for Donkey Kong. Uh, it was made by Payon. Um, one of those... It's one of those games I own and never beat. And uh, I'm realizing why I never beat it. <laughs> but I was trying to do, like, a Monkey May of sorts. Um, even though I've... I've uh, because of Tears of the Kingdom, I didn't really end up actually doing that many Monkey games. But I hope everyone's having a good night. I hope everyone ha who uh, celebrates it had a good Memorial Day. Um, if you're interested in my streams, uh, I have a schedule down below on the About page uh, for upcoming streams. Uh, we've got some Kirby coming up here, as well as uh, next week Katamari. I'll be playing the new Katamari on Monday uh, at 7 o'clock. But in the meantime, we got DK. Keep going, DK. I just need to... No, damn it. <laughs> is there monkeys in Katamari? I never played We Love Katamari. I didn't play... The only one I played now is the re-roll. Roll. So, the premise of what I'm supposed to do here is, like, rotate this thing around to, like, get through this level. But the problem is the lava is... is... If it didn't rise... Up, it wouldn't be that bad. Unless there's just an easier way to do this that I'm not seeing. Like, I can try not spinning DK and just climbing, but I don't think that'll actually work because I just don't think it's fast enough.
<laughs> Look, I... <laughs> Originally I was gonna do more, but to be fair, uh, Jungle Beat, even though... I, well, there was extra stuff I could have done, but Jungle Beat only took one stream. And to be fair, of the games I own for my backlog that I have left to do, the only games with monkeys as, like, the main characters are this... Uh, it was Jungle Beat, and then, um, Monkey Ball 2. Which, I, if, if we beat this tonight, which I don't know that I am, considering how long this is taking. Um, I was gonna do Jungle Beat, or I was gonna do some Monkey Ball 2 next, next week, but... No, I beat Monkey Ball 1, I got the credits. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Well, it would really work for a Monkey Maze Ape Escape, but I don't own those games. I don't even know, like, what what you would... Is there a way to play Ape Escape? Um, I assume maybe, like, the PlayStation Store. But, like, well, where would I even... Can I play Ape Escape off of... If I don't own a PlayStation device? Well, I do, though my PS2 is having issues, so... Like, yes, you can play it on the PS2, but... There's no monkeys in that. Sackboy is not a monkey. <laughs> well, okay, yes, but... <laughs> on my PlayStation. Though, I'll be honest, I have never attempted to... Uh, do that before. For, for that. For, uh, for PlayStation, at least. There, I almost wonder if I shouldn't just grind crystal stars and just cheat through this level, honestly. <laughs> I just did not have enough rotation there. Oh, I'm sure it, w w it would. I just... The only things I've, like, w done in that fashion are, like, SNES, Game Boy. N64 even I'm, like, hesitant to use, honestly. I know it does work. I just... Mostly the 2D devices. Game Boy Advance usually is pretty easy. I mean, DS, obviously. I should look into actually trying 3DS, to be honest, because there's a lot of games I like to stream from the 3DS, but the problem is I don't really have, and I'm sure it's not that hard. I'm pretty sure, I'm sure I can get somebody to help me set that up, but um, I don't have a capture card for it. I almost wonder, it's risky, but I almost wonder if it's not better to, like, go for a long, um, boost on this thing when the lava's way down, right before it goes back up. That's the thing, when everyone was saying, oh, well, why can't Nintendo figure out N64 emulation? Like, N64, I think, in general, just the way it was, the games were made, like... <laughs> There's, they're just wonky in general. Like, emulation for that system has never been perfect, from what I've understood. And I'm not going to pretend like I know how to make an emulator, because I certainly do not. Yeah, I know, like, GameCube usually is... has, like, no issues, even though you would think it would. Though I know there's, like, some exceptions, because, like, I think there's some systems I know that emulation is always weird on just because of how the system was made. I'm trying to think, it's mostly older systems in general, because by around, like, GameCube era, most systems had, I don't know about, like, more uniform, but n not as many weird uh, aspects. Oh. Oh my god, I should just... <laughs> I don't even know if I can get enough. I guess I could go level one and grind crystals. 
But at this point, I almost want to just beat this to prove I can beat it. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Like, I'm sure there's actually a reason why the N64 emulator has problems, but heck if I could tell you what it is. I'm sorry for all the raiders who came into this. I'm trying my best. This level's not great. <laughs> this game was actually fine for the first two worlds. And then, and then World 3 was like, what if we just made the game not be fun? <laughs> and I was like, well, you could, but I would not enjoy it. <laughs> and guess what? I'm not. <laughs> Well, I assume that's a joke pawn, maybe not, but like, I think it has to do with like the video aspect, or like, something with like, that I would imagine. Like, the idea of this is cool, if it, if it, but like, the, it, it just doesn't work. Hot take, I don't think the N64 controller is that uncomfortable to hold. If you want to use all the buttons, sure, but like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's any N64 game that uses all the buttons. Like, almost none of them use the D-pad, and the ones that do use the D-pad don't use the control stick, usually, or any- like, you're either gonna use the D-pad or you're gonna use the control stick for the N64. Okay. Do I cheat? Like, I, I almost think I need to, right? <laughs> I want to, like, at least move on. This is taking forever. Um, I think if I just go to the... I do... I actually do own this game. I own this game for real. I'm just not... Um, no, I don't... Hang on. I, I don't want to be doing tutorial stuff. I do own it for real, I just, um, I considered getting it for Wii U to record it, because I don't have a DS capture card, but I didn't really want to do that because you don't need the touchscreen for this, so there's really no reason to bother. Like, any game that I need the touchscreen for that I was thinking of streaming, I got on Wii U because it was just, you know, like Kirby Mass Attack's an example of that, or Phantom Hourglass, those games you want the touchscreen, so I wanted a form of playing it that would involve the touchscreen. I don't think you can even get crystals in this level, really, because you need the enemies. Yeah, Cranky Kong in general is kind of weird, to be honest. Oh, I, I know, I figured that mod. I just I just think it's always funny how people always talk about how the N64 controller is so like awkward to hold. And I'm like, I don't, I think the people who say that typically never actually have hold a, held a N64 controller. Like, in, like, it's one of those ones where it's like, yeah, in concept you would think it would be bad, but. I mean, I guess I can see why, because like Superstar was on. Like, Superstore Normal was on. Okay, we're just gonna go back to the grind, I guess, because I don't know where I can get crystals. Um, the regular Superstore was on the Virtual Console, so I guess they thought, didn't think, see a reason to release the same game t more than once. <laughs> Too bad <laughs> they didn't care about that for, <laughs> for the online service. <laughs> Guess that's out the window now. <laughs> I guess fair, but to be fair, 64 is drastically different, and while there is differences in Superstar Ultra, I would argue comparatively it's not that different to S Superstar. Whereas 64 is basically just a different, or 64 DS is basically just a different game in a lot of ways.
I would have bought it for not only streaming, but like button remapping because I don't like the game's default layout. That's fair. Yeah, I know you've said you don't like the controls for Superstar Ultra. I I think it's... I have to actually play... I'd have to actually play Superstar Ultra again to see, but I think I've realized that I don't like the controls of Superstar Vanilla. <laughs> so to me, I think Ultra always felt better. And I... Look, we do agree on some stuff, Odin. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we don't agree on. <laughs> but I also don't... It's been a long time since I played Super Star Ultra, so I really don't actually know for that, to be honest. Look, I four-button control with the A button jump. The thing for me is, as long as the A and run... The B and A and run buttons on a controller are close enough in position, um, like, especially having switched over, like, using the Xbox occasionally, so long as the controllers, like, switch off, um, somewhat, I'm okay with it, or the position, as long as the positioning is good, it's fine, the problem is, like, the button doesn't have to be A every time, it just has to be in the right spot. Or what you're saying... You're saying a four-button control with A-button jump... No, see, I, see, okay, whoa, 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 wait, no, I disagree with you on that. I think A should be jump... Like, A and then B is run. Like, Y and B... No, I, I mean, I think it varies, but I, I kind of switch between both of them. But I, I, I don't... Like, Y and B... No, that seems awkward. <laughs> How do you play Mario? Doesn't Mario have an A jump? I mean, they should just have button remapping. Is Mario B? I swear it's A. I guess I just... Well, I guess I just don't care about where the position... As long as the positioning is good, it, the actual button doesn't matter to me. So I never notice them as being awkward. So I think with Superstar, like, it doesn't feel any different to me at the very least. Uh, <laughs> streamed quite a bit of tears. Um, if you want to check on YouTube or on my VODs, I've at this point archived all of the VODs. I've, I streamed up to 60 hours of tears. I did not do everything, um, but the first 60 hours of my playtime is now recorded. Yeah, that's fine. If you like, I I do mark in the sections what I generally was doing without being too spoilery. If you do want to ever check them out, but. but no, okay. I guess I mean I guess my thing, Odin, is I don't. I think if A is jump and B is run, I'm okay with that as well. Because if B is jump and Y is run, it's the same thing. It's still got the same kind of general. Maybe I just have weird thumbs. It just doesn't... I don't know. It just doesn't bother me. <laughs> I also think my thumbs are double-jointed, though, to be honest. Because I am holding this controller right now weird. Because, like, my thumb is not... Like, you know how your thumbs bend inward? When I'm holding this and pressing, like, the A and B button, my thumb is, like, pointed upward. So I think I might be double jointed, which probably would make a bit of difference in terms of comfort how comfortable things are, or whatever. However you want to describe it, I don't even know if double joint is actually what it is or what it. I think my thumbs are more flexible, for better or worse. I don't know. Am I crazy? <laughs> this level is driving me. My is 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 breaking my brain. So. Oh no, I would never do that. Um, like, I, as someone who did not want tears spoiled for them, I would not spoil it for other people. But I have, I've been enjoying it. I have, um, some issues with it. I don't know, I don't want to really say, you know, because of spoilers. 
but I'm still really enjoying it despite those issues. Twitter. Twitter's my only thing. I don't think I have a YouTube link. Or maybe I got rid of it because I didn't think it was that important. I mean, my YouTube is just Mega Freak 400. Everything I have is Mega Freak 400. I mean, this game Odin is A. But this game also only uses A and L and R, so it's not like I'm playing with B right now and, and then telling you. <laughs> but also, I think you can remap in DKC3 also, or DKC also, I'm pretty sure. So maybe I just remap it to different buttons. I don't, I honestly don't know, I'd have to look. I doubt I did that for every game though. Like, th this section sucks because you have to, like, you have to get that thing rotated through there fast enough before the lava goes all the way up because you cannot survive there. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna say I'm probably not beating this game tonight just because I just, I'm gonna be on this level for like an hour. Um, decently far. There's only like eight more levels after this, apparently. So far, yeah. This is the hardest level in the game so far. This one room is just stupid hard. And I don't think there's any... Like, maybe I can do like this. I, like, I just... I don't, like, maybe I can try just climbing it? I don't know if that would work better. It just seems like I wouldn't be able to be fast enough, but I don't know, maybe. I wasn't sure if this is this is high enough. Okay, I think I think my feet might have burned. I'm not sure. This level is horrible. 
Yeah, King of Swing, I don't know if it's better, but I gotta imagine it probably is just because it probably didn't take... It probably didn't take some of the gimmick too far because it was the first one, whereas this one probably does some things that the first game doesn't, like with, like, like this kind of level, simply because they wanted to, you know, push it further. to do this <laughs> well Diddy's I mean I guess he is holding on to DK to be fair Yeah, it acts like the DKC games. Section. This section is stupid. There's no reason to make it be that that tight. The controls are so awkward. The fact that you literally have to get it through there, like in enough time. And if you don't, well, you're out of luck. And this song is ingrained in my brain at this point. <laughs> I mean, this game had Old McDonald in it earlier. <laughs> in the Toy Zone. But I was like, I, I might use that name that game too. I'm gonna do a category that's games that make me angry. And then it'll be this. You get, you have an ability, like the crystal star that lets you just fly and be invincible. So you could use it to like basically skip this section. You would need enough charges to, to do that. So you need more than one or at least to get for, for, uh, further enough before you use the last charge. Um, but unfortunately I do not have, I use the mob. Um, and on top of that, it, uh, like, your game design shouldn't be, oh, hey, our level's bad, let's just have this, this thing that can let you skip it. That way, you know, it's justified. Because I feel like that's to some extent possibly what they did, was they were like, oh, well, our, the, the level's not great, but it's fine because you can just skip it. Okay. 
<laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I got cocky. I don't even know how long this room goes on for. Too long. Yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna say at this point, we're definitely not beating the game tonight. But we're beating this level. <laughs> really? I didn't... I thought I had it up before then. probably just go to a, I like I don't know if you keep I guess because you if you went to a level and just like got crystals and kept dying and then like could you leave the level and keep the crystals or would you have to at least finish the level I'm not sure on that I think it's funny, we were talking about the Crystal Coconuts earlier, but they're only in DK64. I mean, they're in the cartoon, obviously, but they're only in DK64, and they're kind of honestly... Kind of weird they're even in that game, to be honest. Hot take, I don't like lava. Anything that instant damages you in games is always bad. Spikes, lava. Also just that, I guess. Really? I had this too. DK have feet. <laughs> well, I think here's what this is the biggest problem with the game, let alone. Why did they pick DK for this character concept? And and here's why, what I'm realizing. It, it works for Bubbles from Clue Clue Land, because Bubbles is a literal sphere. So the weight of the arms are on the left on her left and right, and it makes like how she moves make sense. DK, meanwhile, his arms are in his upper body. Meanwhile, he has these useless feet that just act as a dumb hitbox that don't need to be there. We should just cut off DK's legs. <laughs> that is what I want. <laughs> they don't add anything to this game. I'm just saying, like, he's a weird choice for a character because you, if for this thing to concept to work, ideally you want a character whose legs aren't getting in the way. 
Because again, the only thing the legs are doing are just adding a, 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 a hitbox that doesn't need to be there and it's throwing off my timing because they're just extra weight. You're trying it as well, so it's not just me, at least. Did you actually do it, Sakani, or no? Did you play up to the- did you just get a file that had this up here, or did you actually get all the way up here? Like, this might be the worst level in all video games. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I don't know if this is where my... I might actually want to see... This might be the level where I stopped. <laughs> on my personal file. And I'm really curious now if it was. The mo yeah, it, well, do you get what I was saying with the, he should have no legs? Like, that's, I think, part of it. There's the momentum, but also, his center of balance is not where you, where it should be. Yeah. No, there were a few others, but they were way less, like, A, needed, or B, um, they were never in a situation where you were, like, life or death like this. Either you could just get back up on it, or it was at most a bottomless pit, but there were other platforms. Oh, 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 first try. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> now I have four lives to finish this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let's save state. <laughs> Just to be safe. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're not even done with this level. What do you mean? This? Yeah. What do you mean? Different stupid gimmick. I didn't mean to do that! I already had to use, like, so many of my lives to begin with. Meanwhile... This level... <laughs> oh, this rock throwing gimmick just is obnoxious. And again, it's over lava. I hate lava. You know, I'm sorry, Ice Level. You actually weren't horrible. Lava levels, though? Oh, I see what you have to do here. I think there's a reason why people didn't like this game. <laughs> Why 
Why did you grab the rock? <laughs> I can't even get... The timing in this, like... Like, I don't know... Sakani... You, you had played it, so now you kind of have an idea of how the game feels, but I don't know if it's visibly, like, apparent how awkward it is to time some of the stuff in this game. Because it really is. That's why, like, the tutorial gave you, like, a vision of sight of where you were aiming, and I really don't know why they got rid of that, to be honest. Because I think it would make the game a lot easier if you could just see where you were aiming. I don't think anyone can blame me for this. <laughs> Screw lives. No, fuck this. <laughs> I can already see what's happening here. <laughs> I don't like it. We got new music though. I think I've been on this level for like two hours, have I not? At least an hour at this point. <laughs> Did you leave when I was on this level, Sneaky? Because I finally have gotten past that stupid wheel room. Also, welcome back. What were you watching? Anything cool? check my file after this. I want to see if this is where I actually stopped, because it would make sense as to why I didn't beat this game now. <laughs> the real reason is because of this level, let alone anything other, any other reason. <sighs> no, we're not going for the few. We don't care about Funky Kong. <laughs> we're just done with this. Uh, uh. 
go! Why are we not done? Look, I'm allowed to have bad opinions on games because I suffer for your enjoyment occasionally. I've earned that right. No one play does it. This is, I don't think anyone's beaten this game. I'll be the first. It's not true because there's actual speedruns. Here's the best part about all of this, by the way. I can still be number five on on any percent for this game. <laughs> <laughs> and by number five, I mean like number five of five, but still. <laughs> The thing is, we saw the G, so at least we're almost done. I think this is the last section. The only five people to- wow. Soon to be. I am determined to beat this game. It's- it's not- like, basically when you swing around and when you release, it- it just swings you up in whatever direction you were doing. And whichever direction you were going, but like, I just- I don't know how to describe it. It's awkward as hell. Here's the funniest thing. I'm pretty sure for the longest time, Metroid Prime Hunters was the only Metroid game I had beaten. Because <laughs> I didn't beat Super Metroid until college. And I definitely did not beat Metroid. I beat Metroid Prime recently for the first time. Ugh. I'm trying to read chat, but I really I'm I can't read chat right now. I will read it back because there's too many too much crap going on screen right now. Ugh. We're free! <laughs> it's the only Metroid Prime game I had beaten until like 2012. <laughs> And I honestly didn't hate it. Okay, um... The lava was not rising, at least on that one. I'm glad. I toiled in the shovel of mine just to give us this content. One day I will finally clear my backlog. Oh, and this is why your idea of if you're not liking a game, just taking it off your backlog? Good idea. <laughs> Great idea! <laughs> um, see, I never had an issue with hand cramps. I, I'm someone who really likes Kid Icarus Uprising, and I know that game also gave people hand cramps. And I just never, I mean, now maybe now I would, because my hands are not how they were like back in the day. So maybe I would cramp up more now than I, than I did, but... Once they put moving platforms in the mix, and it just got infinitely worse since. Every level has been a challenge on how much worse can we make this? Alright, so here's what I'm going to leave it at. I assume this is the boss. I will do this level if people want to watch more. I just don't think I can do the whole game tonight, guys. Um, but that means for next time we'd only have two, like, six levels left. Is that okay? I guess I can figure out something else I could do if we needed, like, I guess I could... Tr I probably could switch over to... Super Monkey Ball 2 for a bit without too much trouble, worst case. That might not be bad. Oh, I am not 100%ing this game, Odin. Fuck that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Unless you meant like 100% you hate the controls of, of Hunters, but... <laughs> Maybe save the boss for the next stream. What do you guys- what does everyone think? Yeah, I could see myself playing it now and having issues. Oh, for the back backlog thing? 
Yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah, that was, that was like, when you posted that, I'm like, you know what? That is a really good idea. I'm already getting to the point where, like, at this point, most of my backlog is bottom of the barrel stuff. All right, before I continue, I need to go, hang on one second. I need to, actually, I might have it right here. If I just grab my, I have a 3DS, an old 3DS. But if we just pop this in, um, this is my Zelda 3DS that I got with Ocarina of Time. But I just need to check, I want to check where I ended, ended up um, on DK. Where is DK? I'd say save it for next stream. I remember. We agree on quite a few things. We both, <laughs> we both like <laughs> games. <laughs> We actually agree on more than the the thing is just the disagreements are like more uh, obvious, but <clears throat> we both like name that game tune. <laughs> no, I know I definitely know that younger me did not beat it. Oh, you know what? This 3DS has no charge. Okay, hang on, I gotta go grab my other my DS. Hang on a second. It should just be over here in my bag, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. You probably heard that. <sighs> okay, take out Across 3D, which I've been working on slowly, bit by bit. Okay. I either got past that level or I ended here, I'm pretty sure. One of the two. Yeah, it looks like I got to Kremlin Dock. I think I I think what happened is I played that level and, and me was like, yeah, I'm good. I also somehow <laughs> I somehow got everything except for the DK coin when I did it somehow. I, like me, like most of these levels are 100 percented, give or take, because I really was trying to. But man, 100 percent, like for this game, is just not good. Please add an avatar to your backloggery. I don't even know how. Teach me. <laughs> I will. I will do it for you, Odin. But I gotta be—I gotta be taught in the ways of. Okay, thank you, Sneaky. All right, guys, uh, this has been a trip. I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. Um, so it sounds like I should just stop here. Um, from the sounds of it, because we have Kremlin Dock left, and then there's two more worlds, but there's only three levels in each world. So there's seven wor seven levels left, plus technically one level for World Two that I can do. That's like the extra hard levels. Um, but I think I'm going to stop here because, uh, I've been going over five hours and two of those hours was just this level. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I don't, I'd have to check the actual time. It was at least a good hour from what it looks like, but it's, it felt like forever. Um, also, uh, I do want to applaud this game for the, uh, fire nice theming. Never seen that before. Um, pretty sick <laughs> but uh, anyway so I I think I'm gonna stop for for tonight um, we will just as a safety make another save state here um, so t next week on Monday at 7 I'll be playing Katamari uh, Damacy or we love Katamari Damacy reroll plus Royal Revere or whatever it is I don't know it's it's a title that's like going to be impossible to type for name that game tune, but I don't think it will matter because I think most of the songs are the same as the original. Um, and then next Monday at 7 p.m. EDT, I'll be playing more of this, finishing it up, hopefully. And then um, if it doesn't take too long, maybe I'll do some monkey ball. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It, it could be I just take a long time on the last few levels. Who knows? Um, for other things coming up in, uh, June, 
the week of not E3, I am just going to stream on Monday, and I think right now I'm going to be doing an Xbox Game Pass stream of just variety games. Um, we have a Kirby Name That Game tune coming up. Uh, Kirby and Yoshi is what it is. It's Kirby and Yoshi themed because they both eat things. <laughs> it was my thought. Though I need to, I need to finish the list because I know it's going to be tight in terms of how many games will fit. Um, the that will be on the twenty or no? I think it's going to be on the nineteenth. I have to look at the schedule, but I know I have that, and I have um, finishing up Zelda's second quest as well as Skyrim. A first look at that game. Um, and then once we get into July, we'll be playing some Kirby Mass Attack, um, Rocket Robot on Wheels, more Name That Game 2 goodness. I have one Name That Game 2, I don't know if you saw on the schedule, that is going to be Name That Game Tune, but one game is used twice. That's the only change. The only It's a normal Name That Game Tune, but there's just one game in there that's going to be used twice. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you which it, what it is, or where it's going to be. <laughs> I think it was put best as, uh, I think I told Sneaky about it, and she said, <laughs> um, this game, <laughs> maybe. The smallest change to add the most amount of chaos to a name that game to. Um, but anyway, uh, we will, we'll be doing that in July. Uh, I still need to figure out what I'm doing for Final Fantasy. I do want to do a Final Fantasy by before the end of the year, or at least start one. I just need to figure out which one. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning toward five at this point of getting it on as the Pixel Remaster and doing five. Kind of thinking that. Um, I know it wouldn't clear my backlog, but I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Um, but that is Donkey Kong Jungle Climber. It is certainly a game. Where, so basically, I'm back to where I started. So I've made no progress. Uh, I, I basically bet back to where I was when I was, when I was younger. Um, so hopefully next time we can actually beat this game for real and then I don't ever have to play it again. And I will have beaten every Donkey Kong game I own. I would have beat, I, every game that I own that has Donkey Kong in the title, uh, I'm pretty sure I will have beaten by that point that, that I own. Um, cause all the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games I own, which is like one of them. Donkey Kong for the Game Boy I beat recently, well, recently-ish, last year, I think, or a year before. Um, all the Yay. DKC games, DKC, DK64, etc. So, yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> also, if you didn't see Jungle Beat, watch that, because that's a much better game. <laughs> Easily, much better game. Made by the people who made Galaxy. These guys didn't make anything else but this, I think, really. They didn't really do much else, so. Alright, um, is anyone else streaming? Let me see. Yeah. Not really anyone that I'm... I feel like would be the right vibe that I follow. So I think I might just call it. Unless... If anyone knows anyone else that, like... <sighs> if anyone from SGM... I don't know if anyone from SGM is streaming that I just ha haven't followed yet. I'd be okay with doing that, but... <clears throat> yeah, look at the top screen. Also, just fire levels are awful. I mean, I think I could technically rage you, Sneaky, but I'm not going to. Alright, I think I'm going to call it, guys, so I will talk to you later. Have a good night, have a good rest of your week, and I will see you next week for Katamari... Uh, we love Katamari, Damacy, Reroll, uh, plus whatever. Bye.